Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as ever, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games, and tonight we're going to be playing Jade Empire for the PC. This will be our first time playing it, so if you want to see how we get to where we are tonight, or you want to see any of the games we played in the past, be them obscure, unusual, or nostalgic, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. Uh, but for tonight, let's get into the game, shall we? So, uh, let me catch up on chat a little bit. And Emperor, thank you so much for the gift sub to Ag Abstractism. Gift sub number 855 in the channel. Thank you so much for that, Emperor. I appreciate the generosity as always. Uh, Zetrof, DM me on Discord. Uh, it's not something I'd want to uh, uh, discuss here, but if you've got any questions, I would be happy to help you on Discord, so feel free to DM me there. It's, yeah, I know how they have Great Matter on the title screen. That's what I was thinking there. I'm like, Gene Jensen, didn't I play that already? I feel like I played that already. <laughs> Alright, so this game has a create a character, but they also have some standardized characters you can play. So they've got Lou the Prodigy. They have Monk Zeng. They have Wu the Lotus Blossom. They have Furious Ming. They have Tiger Shen. And Radiant Gen Z. Also, Scholar Ling. I think that's everybody. Uh, so, basically, all of these default characters are based around what uh, what kung fu styles you want to start the game with. Uh, so, like, Lou the Prodigy right here has Legendary Strike. Um, Legendary Strike is the middle of the road style. Uh, you, there's three starting styles uh, you get. Uh, Legendary Strike is the one that isn't the fastest, and it's not the most damaging, it's just sort of middle of the road. So if you're looking for flexibility, that is the one to go for. Um, let's see, and then there is White Demon. Uh, White Demon is the slow-moving, heavy-hitting style. Um, which, uh, if you are willing to block a lot, be patient. Probably the one for you right there. Uh, let's see, Leaping Tiger I'm actually not familiar with. Um, I think that one is all about attacking from a distance. Not like ranged attacks, but you've got like, uh, you cover a lot of distance with your attacks. Uh, Drunken Master is in the game. It's kind of difficult because you can't really learn it. It's it's a weird uh, how it is, but Drunken Master is definitely in the game, yeah. Um, so the one I'm going to be going with is Thousand Cuts right here, uh, which is fu what Furious Ming uses. And Thousand Cuts is the weakest of all of the styles you can start the game with, but it is the fastest by far. Um, so for somebody like me, who is planning to button mash his way through this game, Thousand Cuts is exactly what I need to be doing. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're Instead of just uh, making a character from scratch, we're just gonna take Furious Ming, because he's already got uh, the styles that we want anyway. Also, it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty badass. <laughs> I love that combo there, Pwnsword. Alright, so yeah, we'll go ahead and take him. Um, and we'll leave his name as Furious Ming, too, because honestly, how are we going to top that? We are not. <laughs> uh, so, we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, so, this is default stats, health 130. Uh, Chi 120, Focus 150. We don't know what those mean yet, but we'll be getting into that later. Now, if you're just being, when I was testing out the game, he was the one I liked the best so far. So, uh, he still needs to put some points into his styles, but I think he should be good there. No more Max Girth. He doesn't really look like a Max to me is the problem. Also, Furious Ming does get a badass. He's gonna get mad. He's gonna fly off the handle. I like it. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna be tweaking stats as the game goes on, but these are just fair enough to go through there. Oh, Furious Ming as a name is pretty good. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it definitely sets up some, uh... It, it sets up some expectations that he might not be meeting, but still. You know, you gotta have a reputation. You know, well, I like that. Alright, let's get started. Loaded up, and I believe we've got some opening cinemas to see. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. 
Oh, apparently no cinema's only tutorial. Cool. Get in the tutorial then. Hey Stubby, welcome in. How are you doing today, Stubby? Um <laughs> So as you can see, like with most Bioware games, you have a wide variety of things you can say to a character. So I can be a, the polite sparring partner right there. I can be a little bit sassy. Or I can just be a gigantic asshole about it. Uh, so if you've been here before, I think you know I'm probably going to be going with option one. A lot. Because <laughs> I am the Boy Scout of Boy Scouts. Yeah, this is a Bioware game. Uh, I mentioned this is kind of the black sheep of the Bioware family. Because before this was KOTOR 1 and 2. Huge hits, everybody loves them. After this was Mass Effect. Huge hits, everybody loved them. And in the middle was Jade Empire, which has been more or less forgotten these days. So that's why we're playing it. We are going in to dive in and see if it deserves its non-reputation. So let's get in there. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Oh yeah, Dragon Age! How did I forget Dragon Age? Dragon Age, also amazing. Everybody loved them. Although some people had mixed feelings about Dragon Age 2 and 3. I liked them. Let us begin. Alright! So let's see how the fighting system works. Press mouse 1 to attack, try to hit Jing Wu several times. There we go. While standing still, hold down space to block basic attacks. Try to block a few of his attacks. Hmm. I actually wanted to remap that, but it doesn't seem like it took. Ah, there we go. Got a few blocks in there. Ow! Use Chi Heal to channel your Chi to heal yourself. So I can just turn my MP into HP, which is pretty nice. Right here, real quick. Uh, where's the settings? Control, keyboard. Yeah, I had remapped this, but I guess it didn't take. I'm gonna remap a uh, uh, block to mouse four, because that'll be a little bit easier to reach for than a uh, spacebar, I think. Let's see. What do you say, Shade will come to the dark side? Probably, but not today. <laughs> Origins is a great game, Pwn Sword. I've beaten it two or three times at this point. It's so good. Dr. Belvin, welcome in. How are you doing today, Dr. Belvin? Hope all is well with you. Appropriate emotes for the challenge. Alright, so where are we at? So, powerful attacks can overcome your foe's defense. Press mouse 2 to break through Jing Wu's block. So, my right click is block breaker, basically. Double tap the movement keys to evade powerful attacks. Try this now. So I double tap a direction and I do an evade, which is kind of nice. All right, defeat Jing Wu. Let's do it. There we go. Hit him with a nice strong attack. There we go. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna leave a lot of these dialogue choices up on the screen for a second just so you can see the incredibly sassy options that I'm not choosing. Each bruise is the mark of your failure to learn our master's teachings. No, no, we're just going to say thank you for the bout. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Uh, let's see. Origins, Mass Effect, and Jade Empire are some of my favorite Bioware games franchises. I love Bioware stuff. I really do. We're trying to play basically all the modern Bioware games on stream, and we're doing a good job so far. Uh, we've played KOTOR 1 and 2. We've played Dragon Age 1, 2, and 3. We've played Mass Effect 1, and now we're playing Jade Empire. So we're making good progress right here. 
Uh, where is Master Lee again? Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. All right, so we got some time to explore the village, and then we need to go talk to the master. Chapter one, wherein a master foretells of doom, arrival challenges for station, and the past haunts the present. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of Two Rivers. Master Lee promises that soon you will know more about how you came here and where your future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest and shadowy assassins who heed no law. What can we do to make you cross the dark side of the dialogue? Nothing. <laughs> I like playing nice guys. I enjoy playing the good guys. Can we talk to her? I don't think we can. Oh, they're going to spar. All right. They got stuff going on. Always good to see you wandering the school. You're the best among us, after all. So it makes everyone train a little harder when you're around. The tricky part is making sure we're emulating you, not hoping to take you down a peg. You should think carefully before bruising the tender egos around here. Oh, did I tell you to see Master Lee when you have a chance? I'm not taking the blame if you forget. This seems like it's made to be played with controller. It 100% was designed for a controller, but I'm playing with keyboard and mouse. Because honestly, it feels more comfortable when I test it. I tested both out. I played, tried playing with the controller and with the keyboard and mouse. This just felt better for me. Oh yes, we are going to be doing uh, Mass Effect 2 uh, for charity before the end of the year. And you will be able to donate to make me do all evil choices. Which will destroy me. I still haven't gotten over Mass Effect 1 all evil because, oh god, that was mean. <laughs> that is happening. That is absolutely happening. Uh, auspicious portents. Understanding the stars in the universe is a very important goal. By examining the universe, we can interpret and predict things to come. The sky is where the great dragon was said to dwell and his illustrious home. We, in his illustrious home, we can see the signs of his effects on creation. Of the observable phenomena, three major ones are the most auspicious. Comets, the flames of the heavens, passing across the sky. Eclipses, during which the power of the gods blocks the sun for brief periods. And falling stars, marking the crescent of one of the celestial bureaucracy to the Earth. Descent of one of the celestial bureaucracy to Earth. So as you can see, you actually get a little bit of uh, XP when you read lore, which is cool. I appreciate the, the little bit of uh, bonus for reading this stuff, which is really nice. Excuse me. Got him in punching the reporter, felt great. I do. We didn't actually punch the reporter on my playthrough. Um, because, uh, I, I don't. I don't remember if it didn't come up or what. We'll definitely be punching the reporter in the second game. Because one of the things that we'll be doing for, uh, the donation is I will have to do all of the renegade, uh, uh, screen prompts. So if it starts flashing red and we've got the money for it, I'll just have to punch the reporter. So that's probably happening. That is almost certainly happening. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Harmonic combinations. To fight without thought is suicide, and the path to victory is laid out one step at a time, each ahead of your opponents. Sagacious TN. Harmonic combinations demand the use of two styles in rapid succession. The first must be of a class called Support, the second from the class known as Martial. Timing is the key. Begin with a focus disabling effect and quickly follow with a powerful barehanded blow. The two actions working in concert will create a harmonic channel in your chi and uh, wreak havoc upon your foe. You must be swift as the window to create the harmony is limited. Disable your foe, close swiftly as you, uh, you change style, and strike with all available force. Let nothing stand in your way, but beware! Opponents of great strength may possess the training to resist this technique. Thought will guide you to victory. Harmonic combinations will ensure the journey is swift. So basically... Uh, if you have any uh, support styles that allow you to uh, put conditions on the enemies, uh, slap a condition on them, then switch back to a martial style and hit them, and you get some bonus damage, uh, as it's a harmonic combo right there, which is pretty cool. Are you going to set the bar a bit higher for the donations this time? I think I'm going to have to, just because there's a lot more dialogue choices in Mass Effect 2 than there was in the first one. Uh, so before, I was pricing it as like five bucks per choice. But there's a lot more choices, so I'm going to have to do the math on that, I think. 
This is your first time playing the game? I've played about halfway through this before, but I've never finished it. Uh, so I definitely have played some of this. I don't remember a ton of it because it was a long time ago, but I've played some of it, but never finished. So some of it I'm going to be blind on here. One day I'll reach your level of skill, but not unless I keep practicing with Smiling Mountain. It is an honor to be approached by the school's most senior student. My mother had high hopes for the school when she sent me here from the capital. Sometimes I wonder if I'm ready to train with others of such skill. Even in the robes of a junior student, I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. Uh, let's see. Why do you doubt yourself? I haven't yet settled in. My studies in the Imperial City were far inferior to the instruction you've had. I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Lee? Um, I've studied with him as long as I can remember. You and Dawnstar have both had a lifetime of training under Master Lee. He is stern with you, but you sure can see that he's proud as well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? Uh, how well do you know the others at this school? I don't know anyone else who displays the skill you do. Well, perhaps Gao, but he lacks discipline. That is why he still wears the robes of a junior student, despite his ability. Dawnstar would be next, with few able to match her delicate moves. Beyond that, the only other person I know well is Smiling Mountain, the sparring master. Uh, what do you think of Dawnstar? I know she is sensitive to things the rest of us can't see. Sometimes I feel sorry for her. It obviously makes her feel different, and that's not right. Uh, why, why do you say that? I think she was given a gift. Unlike responsibility, it may not always be pleasant, but it's something she should be proud of. It shouldn't isolate her. But do you have any impression of Gao? I have seen his kind in the city. He thinks his family's wealth is a substitute for nobility and is angered when others still see him for what he is. A crass and spoiled bully. Oh, he sounds fun. It's the enemy existence. Hey, welcome in. How are you doing today? And how's the start to your weekend looking? And thank you for a 16 month resub. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Um, and yes, uh, Skyrim is getting another re release. They're adding some new features. Uh, that's awesome. I'm excited about that. Skyrim is a fantastic game. Uh, always good to A, see it be accessible, and B, see it uh, getting introduced to a new crowd, which is always really nice. Uh, let's see. How has Smiling Mountain helped you train? Well, he doesn't come close to Master Lee's skill, but Smiling Mountain is good for the younger students. He pairs novices with more advanced students so we can learn. Um, I right, take care. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Skyrim's getting a new release and they're adding fishing in this version as well, so there'll be some new content, which is nice. Let's see, The Old Tongue, Volume 1. Uh, Tho Fan, or the Old Tongue, was the native language of one of the many kingdoms struggling for supremacy before the Empire was unified by Sagacious Tien, our first emperor. As the world's rage, constant shifts in territorial leadership spread the use of the Old Tongue. By the time Sagacious Tien formed the Empire, the Old Tongue was so widely spread that it became a second official language of the Jade Empire. <laughs> They're not fishing. We're fishing. Oh! <laughs> Typical. What's he on about? Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. Um, if I'd known I was holding up for training, I would have come sooner. Really? You would have dropped everything to make way for me. I don't think so. You're far too important to waste time worrying about my education. Master Lee certainly considers your training important enough to shove all others aside, so why shouldn't I bow down to your greatness? What did I do to earn this belligerence? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-licking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. They did, yes. Try Lin. 
She'll say anything to please you just to see your simpering little smile. Pathetic. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. So what I'm hearing is you have no friends and aren't very good at martial arts. Gotcha. Thanks for breaking that down for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> that guy does need to be punched, I think. He seems very punchable. You received Martial Styles. Martial Styles do not always access the energies of mind and body harmoniously. Sometimes imbalance is the source of their power, as it is with Iron Palm and Viper. Each requires possession of three meditation scrolls that prepare the student for the forces that will be encountered. If these disciplines are attempted without complete understanding, the student risks accepting more power than the body can withstand. Knowledge of Iron Palm and Viper is not often shared, as most martial practitioners consider them to be in opposition to classical teaching. If a student happens upon one of the scrolls detailing these styles, he or she cannot and should not attempt to train in the style until gaining the possession of all three. The most difficult and humbling step of any journey is the acceptance of one's own limitations and confronting whether the journey is possible at all. Uh, let's see. Wait, is that Nathan Fillion? Seriously? Nathan Fillion's the big jerk? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Let's see. The Long Drought. The Long Drought stands as one of the worst periods in the Jade Empire's recent history. Ten years of scorching heat and little rainfall took their toll on even the most prodigious reserves of the Empire's granaries. The sages predicted at least three more devastatingly dry years, while those in the Ministry of Harmony watched the death, death toll mount in the hundreds of thousands. Then Emperor Sun Hai declared that the drought was over, and somehow it was. Though the, through the Emperor's divine will, green returned to our parched land and stability was restored. Well, that's handy. To see some of the other cast members? I'm going to have to look that up. I didn't even think to check out the cast before we started on this. So now I'm interested to see who they got there. Uh, let's see. What we got over here? Hmm. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. Yeah, let's see. Can I ask you some things about the school? I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Give me, well, I'm, I'm kind of getting that vibe from him as well. He seems like it. Uh, tell me about the philosophies you mentioned. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here. Because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, Do you follow the way of the open palm or the closed fist? All right, so this is basically the way that Bioware dis, uh, defines the game's morality system. So let's hear what they have to say about it first. Tell me about the way of the open palm. A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. I'll give me some examples. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. Let's see, Eric Director, thank you so much for the 18 month resub right there. I really appreciate the support, it means a ton. And it is a pleasure to have you with us today. How are you doing? How's the weekend looking for you? His eyebrows are really impressive, seriously. Uh, dear, tell me about the way of the closed fist now. It is the low path, the way of aggression and discord. A misunderstood path often misused by those who wish to justify a thuggish nature. It is not as simple as crushing your enemies or as mindless as terrorizing the weak. It is a mindset born of impatience, of imposing your will. 
so what is it if it's not evil? An evil man might ignore a plea for help because he does not care, but that shows a disconnection with the world. That is not part of the way. A man on the low path might also ignore that plea, but he would do so because that person should demonstrate they are fit to survive on their own. Wait, what's the difference? The person dies each time. The difference is in the details. That same man might help if the odds are unreasonable. He might also do it to incur favor. There is thought in his actions. He is not a mindless killer, but he may let strength decide what course is best. That is why it is a dangerous path. It can so easily be misinterpreted. So, Bioware has basically said, this isn't, this is deeper than just good and evil. This is about philosoph different philosophies clashing. But uh, as somebody that's played some of this game, let me tell you, it's just, it's just good and evil. It's just light side and dark side. That's all it is. <laughs> there really isn't that much more complex, is the thing. Zetroff, enjoy playing the game. We will see you around. Uh, let's see. Eric, happy birthday. How did you have a... Uh, how, how was your time at Disneyland? Did you enjoy it? Have a good time there? Uh, it was uh, Hopefully it wasn't too crowded there. I'm open. All right. So, all right. You said open palm, closed fist. Does this have any practical effect? You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. But there can be advantages. Certain forms of attack inherently lean toward one extreme or the other. They have a rhythm that resonates within you. You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. How you use this is for you to discover and decide. Uh, so basically, there's one fighting style in the game that you can only access if you have a high open fist, or open palm, and one fighting style you can only access if you have high closed fist, is the big thing right there. Oh, nice, Eric. That sounds pretty nice. I am charged with giving... All right, um... Let's actually go for now. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. That would be pretty nice. I can see the, the benefits of that. Most definitely. Um, Alright, I think we've seen everything around this area. So, uh, let me quick save. There we go. I'm going to have to remember to do that pretty often in this game. I need to quick save often and I need to hard save after important story beats. Uh, but for right now, we'll talk to Master Lee. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jingwu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Uh, perhaps I will train others, if you have trained me. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Uh, wait, why would you do that? Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. 
Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. Let's see. Hey, Velvet VHS, welcome in. How are you doing today? How's the search of weekend going? Uh, there's not actually a Jade Empire series, it's just this one game. It was intended to be at least a trilogy, I believe, but uh, the first game never really took off, so it just sort of ended there. Uh, every once in a while, Bioware will talk about, hey, we've still got the IP, we'd still like to do something with it, but nothing's happened so far. Uh, let's see, do you get different outfits in the game? I don't remember. I think you might get some armor at some point, but I'm not 100% sure, Gamagumo. He does sound, that guy does sound very familiar. I am getting that right there. Uh, let's see, China the Forbidden City? No, I haven't heard of that one. Is it any good, Velvet? Should I be looking into that one? All right, what would you have me do about these bandits, Master? The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the Weapon Master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Uh, where can I find Dawnstar and Gujin? Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gujin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. I will do as you ask. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. Uh, let's see, it's a great old point-click game. I grew up with it, even had a Swedish dub for PC. Oh, nice. Ooh, very cool. I Anytime you can mention a point-and-click that is apparently good that I haven't heard of, I'm inter I'm instantly interested, so I'm going to have to look into that after the stream. Oh, Master Lee was in Titan Quest, too. That's pretty awesome. I mean, anytime there's a Bioware game, there has to be at least one companion that you hate with a ferocious passion. So I'm sure there's going to be a Karth in here somewhere. Uh, red Lion figurine, Yellow Lion figurine, and Blue Lion figurine. All right, I don't know what I was expecting, but that's a thing. A statue of a lion stands behind the altar. It is marked as a training aid designed by a previous master of the school. There's a crystal sphere in the lion's paw. Uh, approach the altar. The altar is less ornate than the statue and lacks a sense of permanence. Something activates as you approach. The sphere in the lion's paw begins to glow with a blue light. Uh, place the blue figurine. Sphere color changes to glow red. Sphere changes color again, glowing with a yellow light. Statue disp dispenses a silver coin. An unfamiliar voice begins to emanate from the lion. The obvious path is humble, safe, but pays the wage of a cook, not a champion. Interesting. You collect the figurines and step away. Interesting, interesting. Not sure what to make of that. Um, examine the markings on the lion. The altar and statue serve to show students a real example of lessons otherwise presented abstractly in class and is not seen use in some time. That yeah, statue just roasted me right there. Hey, you can follow simple instructions. Nice, that's not a big compliment though. Uh, there is a mention of a greater reward for the more investigative path, but that was probably an additional element of the test performed by the master who placed it. You cannot recall Master Lee ever referring to the statue. Different masters prefer different methods of teaching. Alright, well, if we ever see anything about lions, maybe we can come back here and see what the heck is going on there. Uh, anything else to see in here? 
Eat the scrolls back there. No. The bird right there. Let's see. Alright, enjoy your lurk, Velvet. Thank you for stopping by, as always. Let's see. Can you play Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut? Shane, we have Ghost of Tsushima at home. Ghost of Tsushima at home. <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah. Play, we have Ghost of Tsushima at home. Oh, thank you for that, LTG. I appreciate it. How are you doing today, L LTG? How is your uh, weekend starting out? I'm pretty sure you could brute force it. Yeah, it's true. It's not too much. I wonder what happens if we just try putting lines in a random order. What happens if we just completely ignore this guy and just put lines on there? Uh, place the yellow figurine. The sphere grows dim. Place the red figurine. Nothing happens. Place the blue figurine. Nothing happens. Huh. Place the red figure in. Nope. Huh. Interesting. So not quite following the formula doesn't seem to do anything. That's interesting. There is a Jade Empire category, yes, but I prefer to do this game in retro because then I get some cool retro folks in here saying hi, which is really nice. I, I, that works, that works. I definitely did, did have some lethargy for a day or two after my shots. I think that's probably to be expected. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Let me quick save again and let's uh, start making our way down to the village. That was a mean statue, though. Seriously, what was up with that? Just trying to live my life, statue. Leave me alone. Don't be like that. Uh, Alright, that leads around to the back side of the gate. Ooh, check out the rainbow up there. I feel like you don't see rainbows in games nearly enough. They are lovely, and they should be putting them in video games. Oh, what's going on over here? What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. <laughs> I appreciate the middle option here, but I'm, I'm going to try and be polite. Hello, Dawn Star. I hope I'm not interrupting. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. So I'm definitely oh, going to have to kick his ass, right? the lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but... Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Li's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. I'm definitely gonna need to kick that guy's ass at some point. First time he walks by and said he gets shanked. I, I, I like that plan. I'm down for it. Turretark, welcome in. How are you doing today? And Casita, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, what did Gal want anyway? What does Gal the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? Shame people don't really like the setting. I like the setting. I love, uh, I love Kung Fu movies. The old Shaw Brothers movies. I watch the heck out of those. They're so good. Ooh, 
Ooh, snack of cold pizza. Delicious. What kind of pizza? Uh, let's see. You know about the bandits. Master Lee said to get a weapon from Gujin. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? Um, not specifically. What do you know about it? Only what Master Lee has told you in the past. You are meant for great things, but you must discover them yourself. It must be so frustrating, but exciting as well. Uh, he's told you similar things. You have talents, too. It is not the same. You are filled with the promise of great things, even if they are unknown. My skills will always be darker. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. Please don't put me on a pedestal, I'd rather stand beside my friends. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Yeah, she's definitely got a little bit of an emo streak right there. You're destined for great things, and me? I'm destined for the garbage. <laughs> Lighten up, lady. Holy crap. Now, let's, let's go together. I could use the company. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Hey, Drev, welcome in. How are you doing today, Drev? Let's see. Your followers will fight alongside you, but you can also change access their support abilities. Use the follower screen to change their tactics. Let's do that right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, so right now she is set to attack. I'm going to change that to support. Uh, so it says right there, if she's set to attack, she'll attack with her longsword. If she's set to support, though, she will recover my chi. And that's especially handy because chi isn't just used for your special attacks, chi is used for healing. So as long as she's recovering my chi, I'll be able to heal a lot more often, which is very nice. Definitely very nice. Half pizza, half calzone. That sounds interesting. I'm down. <laughs> Master Chop Chop Onion always says, don't forget to save. Yes, I'll do that as well. Good call. <laughs> I'm probably glad you appreciate it. Decided to end your day early? That sounds like a wonderful de decision, Drab. Hopefully the weekend will be great for you now. Alright, so let's quick save again. There we go. Let's see what's up here. The inner self. The great wheel of life turns eternal, bringing one through life into death, then back around into life. The, the new life is always different. The core essence, the spirit of a person, remains the same. The spirit breathed into each person is eternal. To achieve harmony with the universe, one must perfect their harmony with the spirit. Indeed, the spirit of each individual is a reflection of that greater universe. It is a reflection of the wheel of life and the great dragon that created it. All right, another little bit of XP right there. We don't need to use this right now, but this is basically a thing that recovers your chi if you need to do that while you're out wandering the world. So that's handy to have. All right, let's go up here. And this will take us to the town outside of the school, I believe. All right. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it. Let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. Well, bandits. Oh, he's dead. All right. I still don't seem to be able to block with the mouse theory. I'll have to look into that. Excellent. There we go. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. 
Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Oh yeah, sorry, Mouse Ford. No, it's uh. Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? I changed the Mouse Ford. No. But it wasn't actually working. I'm guessing if I'm gonna check it right now. Let's see, control keyboard. No, it still says Mouse Four there. Weird, I was hitting mouse four and it wasn't really doing it. We'll try again next battle, though. I was able to block once I hit uh, spacebar, because it's got that as well. We'll see. Do you need a weapon? You defeated them so easily. I really do need a weapon in this game. Doesn't seem like I might now. I do now, but I assure you, I'm going to need it. <laughs> yeah, I can talk to both of them. It's so awful. They killed him. Wow, literally did kill the guy with a one kick to the head. I'm so shocked, I don't know what to say. You have to keep us safe. I'm gonna try. Yeah, they're making another version of Skyrim, and they're adding some content to it, so it's not just gonna be a straight port, which is very cool. Right, that's way to the town square. That way to the beach. Well, let's head up this way first. Because uh, we need to get that weapon. Uh, what do we got back here? What was that noise from the town square? Are people fighting? Yeah, but only one guy got killed, so, you know, overall, not terrible, not great, but, you know, not not terrible. Or this anything. building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. All right. I mean, they're adding fishing. Fishing sounds cool. I'm down with that. Uyoir Shakir Uksayanan. Sawani Karpa. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> why, why do you insist, insist on speaking like that, Gujin? If you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Excellent, excellent. Uh, let's see. Finally got around to playing Skyrim after you use a starting and stopping to add mods and restarting. Nice, how are you enjoying it, Dr. Belvin? Let's see. Oh, the Tales of Arise demo. It looks so good. I'm glad you're enjoying it so far. I'm kind of hype about that. Uh, Bandit scouts are here in two rivers. Master Lee sent me for a weapon. Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Donstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after. And I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. But where did Master Lee find these weapons? I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's Favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. Let's see, how do I swap the controls to a controller? It should automatically detect your controller. You shouldn't have to manually do anything. You should just be able to start using the controller right from the start. Uh, if it's not recognized your, your controller, try restarting the, the game. See if that does it. All right, tell me about the longsword, Fortune's Favorite. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. Uh, let me hear about the staff, Golden Star. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. A young noble convinced the great eastern serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. 
It could be pure fantasy, but the staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. Let's see. Yes, this is the Steam version that we're playing right now. Uh, specifically, Jade Empire Special Edition. I don't think they sell the old one anymore, though. Uh, yeah, those eyebrows are very impressive. This this game has a lot of impressive eyebrows so far. <laughs> so I've, like I said, I played a little of this game before, and uh, basically, I really like the reach of the staff, um, because obviously, you know, you're doing melee for most of the game. A staff gives you a little bit extra reach. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take Golden Star. Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. Uh, is there anything else? One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon. And the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. Uh, so yeah, what he's saying right there is basically whenever you use a weapon, every attack will drain your focus meter. And when you're out of focus, you can't actually use the weapon anymore. Um, so basically, weapons are magic in this game, which is very unusual, but it is what it is. Alright, I should go see the townsfolk now. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. Senior student. Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. All right, does Master Lee know they're already here? Master Lee hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. I'll run back to the school and warn everyone else. I'll deal with these thugs. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. Heck yeah. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. All right, style gain golden star. So basically the game treats weapons as a new, different fighting style. Uh, so right now I've got three fighting styles, a martial style, a support style, and a weapon style. Um, and I can switch between them at will. Alright. Powerful weapons require intense concentration to wield properly. The fatigue from this will drain your focus, which is measured in the yellow bar. Gotcha. Alright, and that's right there with the little yellow ball in there uh, recovers my focus if I need to. That's handy. Uh, it's over here. The martial arts, the pride, perfection, and achievement of an individual are represented in many ways. The honing of the mind, the civic achievements, and glory gained from the empire. The development of the spirit and one's inner energies, and the training of the body. Uh, through the body of the practitioner imposes his uh, will upon himself, and through that upon the universe. Through use of his body, the martial artist achieves transcendence and strength, overcoming all obstacles, both physical and spiritual. All right, hidden book, uh, hidden bonus book set complete. All right, so I got a little bit of uh, extra bonus XP for finding all the scrolls from one set, which is pretty nice. Bought Elder Scrolls, all yeah, it is a big chunky boy. It really is. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it though, LTG. You'll have to let us know. All right, so I am going to save here. And what is it right here? I think. I'll make a hard save right here, because it seems like a good place. And now we'll go ahead, uh, head outside. Let's see what's out here. Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I better let someone else have some fun for a change. I can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're going to sneak around. Everyone is needed. Get ready to fight. Uh, no, please. I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. 
Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. Wow! Well! He's a little bit of a coward. Goodness gracious. Let's see. Gonna try and platinum it, but I'm 99.5% done with uh, that. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're heading this way now. Oh, yeah, pigs! They got free range pigs just wandering around. Kind of wild. Got five coins right there. I'll take that. Now we're headed to next down this way. Oops, and we're fighting now. All right, that guy's down. Huh. Those guys went down easy. Nice. All right, we're, like I said, we're going to be quick saving a lot in here because especially at the start of the game, this game is very dangerous. So let's do that. Hey, machine, welcome in. Thank you for the raid machine. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing well. Glad to have you with us. Let's see. Me and Lurkers, always a pleasure to have some more Lurkers in here. What were you playing today, Machine? How'd it go? Tell me everything. You're doing all closed fist on him? I mean, it's not really a fighting style closed fist, but uh, I'm using Thousand Cuts is the fighting style that my guy uses uh, natively. I can use uh, mouse one plus mouse two to do an area attack. They're all over the beach. Bandits! That sounds handy. I'm too much for you. Oh, nice. Was we that distance well? Be careful, these louts will show no Kill anyone in our way! We'll strip this village bare! I can't face them alone! You there can't go, fight go. us! Nope. There's no one to help you! Nope. Yeah, mouse four is still not working for block, that's weird. Oh wow, I lost a lot of health there. I knew someone from the school would help. No one else could. Please, my boy Nijo is trying to fight them down on the beach, but we need someone skilled. Alright, I'll go if I can. Let me I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. There we go, let me see if I can get uh Let's see if I can get my chi restored before we go down there. I think there was a chi font somewhere around here. Wasn't there? I could have swore I saw one. Um, just past the weapon cellar, I think? Yeah, it was down here. And then, ah, there we go. Let's see if I can restore my chi before we head down that way. There we go. Your chi and health are replenished. Fantastic. Oh yeah, they did a, a Quake remaster. I did not expect that, but I'm very pleased about that. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, the, the dialogue isn't super well balanced. Sorry about that. Hero Realms. I don't think I heard of that one, Turretark. Something you played? Sure, Drev, what do you got? And hey, Blackrock, no worried. I hope you're having a good day at work and glad to have you joining us. Let's see. So that way is the way to the beach. So that's where we're headed right there. All right. Let's get down to the beach. See what kind of baddies are waiting for me down there. And a uh, auto save before we get down there. That's a little worrying. <laughs> Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. Of course. Oh, God! Well, he definitely vaporized that guy with a cannonball. Holy crap. Cannon fire, look out! Oh, Jesus! I'm on fire! Oh, God! How do I put the fire out? There we go. Heal up a little bit. Oh, shoot! Uh, dodge! Oh. 
Ooh. Nope. Get out of there. Ooh, wow. I almost died. So yeah, facing groups of dudes is very dangerous in this game. Because you can very quickly get overwhelmed. I think the biggest problem with Thousand Cuts is I have very little range. You have to be extremely close up to land any hits. Got a guard breaker right there, nice. No, oh, dang it! Ooh, dying again. Thank goodness for that cheat recovery, I would be in trouble otherwise. Got one of them down. It wasn't the intended target, but I'll take it. There we go. Woo! Whew. Oh, jeez. We got a lot. Oh, jeez. That guy's got Wolverine claws. What's up with that? What is up with the Wolverine Claws right there? I don't approve. Oop, oh, jeez. I don't remember how to switch targets yet. I should probably check that out. See if I can take one of these guys down. Oh, oh, I'm trying to do that area attack that they mentioned. It's not working out so far. I don't know if it's like Look super out. slow or what. Whoa! -ho -ho! Did that actually kill one of their guys? I think I actually killed one of their guys. That's pretty rocking. Gain the lead. Hey, Chris Technician, welcome in and thank you for the hundred bits. How are you doing today? Hope all is well with Watch you. Yourself. I think that cannon might be doing friendly fire damage, which is hilarious. There we go, got that guy down. Oh, wow, there's an area attack. Oh, dang it. Is that guy healing? Oh, there's more cannonballs. And I'm on fire again. Stop, drop, and roll. All right, there we go. Heal up a little bit. Oh, nope, that didn't work well. Alright, let's heal up a little. This is pretty tough for an early game fight. You guys are not playing around. This guy's super fast, too. There we go, alright. And a little health right there, I'll take that. Close the gap on this guy. Ooh, that hurt. All right. What are you? Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Dude, summon ghosts at me! What the hell? And they're shooting ice at me. Alright, cool, cool. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's see, draft from what I know, cannons aren't that accurate. You can use them to snipe people. I mean, it was kind of point blank. So there is that, at least. Uh, let's see, uh, why are there more uh, Wuxia Manoir anime? I can recommend you a couple, though, uh, LTG, if you're ever interested. Zetrov Leaping Style uh, Tiger is the one you use. How are you liking it so far? And yes, she is recovering my chi, and since I use my chi to heal, uh, that's a, a very good thing, I think. Yeah, Dawnstar can either be set to attack or to heal my chi, but not both, and so I manually set her to, to heal my MP. 
Uh, happy Friday to you as well, Chris. How's everything going with you? Let's see. Fit it into a kind of handle or fasten the thongs by the closed right hand. Rushed upon each other and tore like tigers at the face and body. Holy crap! <laughs> Jesus! That's frightening right there. Luna, I hope you have a good lie down. I hope you feel better after that. We will see you around. Yeah, that guy, uh, I, I was thinking what? It's a uh, Quan Chi from Mortal Kombat? That's what I was getting from that guy, uh, resin some ghost there. It's horrifying. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so. Uh, let us get back to it then. Let's see. I'm gonna quick save here? No, I can't quick save in the middle of a fight. Alright. Alright, that's super tough. That's a good thing. Ow! It can't hit me with a bunch of ice, though. It's rude. Alright, you got another one down. Let's heal up. There we go. Ghost Wizards, man! This is not what I was expecting today. Interrupt your spell casting, because I'm rude. There we go! Oh, we got teleports, too! Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it. I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. <clears throat> You! Well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. So first he punched a boat to death. And then he just uh, looked at that guy's spine and said, nah, not today. <laughs> so it was, that was pretty impressive. That was extremely impressive right there. <laughs> he got up on chat. Oh, jeez. There is justice on the line. LTG just started today. <laughs> and yeah, exactly. Community goals are just something where everybody has to come together. So if you guys want me to play Phoenix Wright, we gotta make sure the community wants that. I think they do, though. The ghost wizards seem a little bit out there. Definitely very interesting. <laughs> I see Chet is impressed by old man kung fu as well. <laughs> and hey, Space Cowboy, welcome in. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this game so far. I'm interested. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I did everything but ripped his spine up. Mortal Kombat at the guy right there. Holy crap. Uh, thank you for your assistance, Master Lee. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. I do have questions. I will confirm this. <laughs> Oh, Trev, I love that song. 
<laughs> it's it's so it's such a terrible song, but it's fun and cheesy. It is, it is. Let's see. Trey Dog, thank you for a 36 month resub. That's three years, my dude. Trey Dog, thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate it, and it's a pleasure having you here for that long. So thank you for that, Trey Dog. Very cool of you. Oh, I'm glad you're uh, enjoying Grady's Attorney LTG. I'll be picking that up eventually. I, I can't not. Let's see. M.E.K., welcome in. Yeah, we got to, uh, we, we just got to the part where an old man punched a boat to death. So that's exciting. <laughs> How are you doing? How's your weekend going? Oh, with the original soundtrack? Dude, I love the old Quake soundtrack. That's awesome. BlackRock, it is my goal to eventually play every Phoenix Wright game on stream. So as long as people keep uh, hitting them up in the community uh, goal, I'll keep playing them. That is definitely a thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that was one of your favorite playthroughs to watch? I'm so glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, a yellow arrow icon will appear on the left side of the screen when you have enough experience points to level up. Come to the character record and click on your character to level up. All right, so we do have enough points to level up, so let's do that. This screen allows you to spend points to improve your abilities. You can also click the balanced button to automatically distribute your points to create a balanced character. Um, so let us, let's see, we've got three points. Let's put one point in body, which will give me some more health. And then let's put two points in chi which will give me some more uh, spirit, uh, I should say, which gives me some more chi points. Uh, because I want to have all the chi in the world to heal, which is really nice. The balanced boo glass cannons. Yeah, I'm not quite doing that. I think I'm basically going to be using mind as the dump stat is all. Uh, and I'm going to be making my uh, spirit very high and my body the second highest, I think. We'll see right there. <laughs> 16% already on day one. That is wild. So the biggest question, of course, usually we've, we've met all of our community goals so far. It's never a, uh, a thing where we haven't met one. I think the biggest question is, can we meet the goal before I finish this game? Because that'll mean that the Phoenix Wright is the very next game we play. That's the biggest challenge, I think. Hey, Husketeer, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing well. Glad to have you with us. This screen allows you to spend style points to learn new techniques, map styles your hotkeys for rapid access during combat, and see all the styles that you've learned. So, we have 10 style points to send, which we def definitely want to, uh, because uh, we want to level up our uh, thousand cuts to make it a little bit better right there. Uh, I'm doing good as well, Husketeer. So far, this game is pretty interesting. All right, so let's level up thousand cuts. And there's three things we can put points towards. We can increase the damage by 25% per go. We can increase the chi damage, um, which basically I can burn my chi to make my hits do more damage, which is kind of cool, kind of cool. And hey, Emperor, thank you for the gift sub to Husketeer right there. Gift sub number 856 of the channel. Thank you so much for all the generosity. I appreciate it. Husketeer, enjoy those emotes. Sudden bribery, I love it, I love it. The style savvy RPG we always wanted. I'm hoping. How are you doing, Rook's Honor? Hope everything's going good. And the last one is speed increase, which literally just makes your attacks hit faster. Uh, so I definitely want a speed increase because we're already doing the fast skill and have it being even faster is nice. I want a damage increase. 25% more damage is not a small thing. Uh, then we'll do some more speed. We'll do some more damage. Got four points left. And I think we will go ahead and put those into speed. Because we're doing the fast style, we always want to be faster than everyone else. Because uh, that way we can interrupt the crap out of everybody and basically just stun lock dudes, which sounds very nice right there, I think. Let's see. Okay, Cena, nice all in right there. Holy crap. That is not a small amount. You're on the leaderboard with that score. Nice. Nice. A bold move, and it paid off. I like it. I like it. That means Leighton... I mean, technically, I would have to do uh, Leighton versus Phoenix, right? I don't have a copy of that one, but I'll see if I can track that down. That shouldn't be too hard. Let's see. So that means I'm not a big magic user in games, so if I did have magic, I'd probably just save it for heals. I, I'm, I do 
a lot of magic and some are not in a lot in others. In this one, we're not doing a lot of chi damage because we're going to be saving our chi for heals for the most part. Uh, but let's see, I think we're good right there. Like, we're not going to be using T strike that often, so mostly we just want to up my damage and speed increase. Save changes? Okay. There we go. So that represents how many points overall we've put into that. I'm not going to be putting a lot of points into Heavenly Wave because, as you saw, I never used it. We'll put some points into Golden Star just because it is nice when you need to keep distance from an enemy, and some enemies you really do want to keep distance from them. Uh, so, all right. Let's exit out of there. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. Yeah. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. Let's see, Zetroff, what you want to do is you want to look up a website called PCGamingWiki.com. Uh, I mention it on stream all the time. It is absolutely 100% a necessity when playing older PC games. And it has a lot of advice about troubleshooting with this game. Because some people do have some trouble getting it to launch. Um, in particular, it's not the game itself that has trouble. It's the launcher that precedes the game that sometimes messes up. Uh, so check the article about this on PC Gaming Wiki. Hopefully it'll be able to help you out right there. Yeah, sometimes you gotta punch a boat. Sometimes you gotta punch a boat. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And uh, thank you for the link to play that right there. I appreciate that. And Drav, nice all-in as well. That's two big all-in wins right there. Very impressive, very impressive. All right. Um, I, I, do you want to talk about the attack? I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. Let's see, where did you live before you came to the school? Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason, the robes of that sorcerer look familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing. Just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. Well, we've got our amnesiac with a mysterious past. Update your bingo card. <laughs> um, why did you move around? How did you come here? I can't remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he's not had time. Your training has taken precedence. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just be. Yeah, I can actually I confirm that uh, Steam's overlay should solve pretty much any problems you need with a controller. Uh, so if you just launch the game through Steam, because uh, you can launch non-Steam games through Steam, that'll solve a lot of problems. I can confirm that as well. Oh, let's see. It is troubling to not know your past. Yes, I suppose you know something about that as well. I hope this does not sound odd, but I am glad we share that. Thanks for this talk. The events on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve my mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. Let's see, uh... How did you help Master Lee find out about the Restless Dead? 
I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are different. I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Li was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to something else? Oh yeah, definitely. I sometimes launch uh, emulators, like my PlayStation emulator, through Steam. Just because it makes the, the emulator recognize my controller a little bit better. Yeah, you can launch basically anything through Steam, even if it's not a Steam game. It's good stuff. Hey, Kumatori, welcome in. Oh, I've been watching somebody who's been playing Harvester. How are they enjoying it? Tell me everything. <laughs> Especially if they're playing blind, because watching people's first playthrough of Harvester is just a whole trip. Just an entire journey right there, most definitely. <laughs> oh, Blackrock, that's kind of you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. You launch notepad through Steam so you can mess with people. I've seen a lot of people do that before. And uh, uh, how it shows up in uh, Discord as well, which is a trip. Uh, what do you know about the spirit world? We are all spiritual creatures. When we die, our spirits are released to find their way to the underworld. The journey eases the transition from life to death. If their time among the living was troubled or painful, spirits sometimes get lost. They can seem almost alive and are often mistaken for living creatures. They usually only appear for a short time. They say what they need to say and then are drawn to the underworld. Oh, do you, just what you expect every 20 minutes reacting what is this game? That's the correct response. Uh, so what makes spirits so threatening? If a person's life was very traumatic, his or her spirit can lose its way for a long time. They can go mad trapped in the world of the living. Maddened spirits change. They lose their connection to the living world and begin to channel darker emotions. They can be very dangerous. I've only seen hints of those. It's been enough. I'm very worried about what may be coming. Now, what happens to spirits in the underworld? I don't know. That's the kind of thing old men sit on mountains to discover. Some say it is a place of judgment. Maybe it's about reincarnation. You'd think we could just ask the spirits themselves, but if we can't really understand our own answers, how can we hope to fathom theirs? Rin is correct. If you use Notepad a lot, I'd recommend looking into a program called Notepad++. Good stuff. Uh, that's all for now. Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. See if Master Lee can teach me that sweet ass neck breaker move. That was badass! Let's see if we can talk to everybody on the beach here. See what everybody has to say. Alright, yeah, that's a nice statue. Uh, can I ask you some questions? That's a terrifying thing to say, and I'd like to keep a few feet away from you because I'm a little worried that a gentle breeze might murder you. Um, tell me about the Emperor. So is the emperor neglecting the borderlands then? I suppose. Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, how long have you lived here? Sa ir yakoak, kokonato si ir ipanon niko. 
What do you do here? Wo ananiya ifewir uk sonorok noka uk snapir. Ikir nik tine piru wo ifewirak uk son puno. Uh, I have to ask, why are you sweeping the beach? Uk sasa saranof uk no, rik ni uk ni akawania rapani. No pen plus plus has dark mode. Holy shit! I gotta get the that downloaded again. That's amazing. Whoa, whoa, soon for no no. Yapa pap nasi a weir sa ye wooth. Ah, goodbye for now. To go through to waso. All right. Who else we got here? I saw there was some other people. I'm so glad you and Master Lee arrived when you did. My father ran to the school gate to find students to help. Did he make it? Uh, he is safe. There is no more reason to be concerned. <sighs> that is a great relief. We tried our best, but without you and Master Lee, we would have died. Thank you. Hopefully Master Lee can shed some light on what led to this. A sorcerer in our little village? What is wrong with the world? So there you can see by that blue symbol I got some open palm points for being nice to him. That was so mean to oh, say, why would I do that? You're a friend of Dawnstar, right? I'm looking for her. Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. I'm glad, Mrs. Zhang. He seemed peaceful, if a bit lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. Some spirits return because of trauma, to rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find rest. At least they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. Now he wanders, unconnected to this world, and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander until they go mad. I'm sorry, this has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. Let's see, Ice Cream Mikey, welcome in. How are you doing today, Mikey? How's everything going with you? And if we have any mods around, can I get a shout-out from Ice Cream Mikey? I would appreciate that. Yeah, the ship's still back there on fire from that incredible kung fu. Uh, you were right to console her, even if she didn't want to hear it. I don't know. People just want to be left alone with their grief. I guess blame is easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if the students are alright. Master Lee will be waiting. Let's see. Glad you're playing this. Played it one time and it was great. Excellent. I've never beaten this one before, so I'm hoping to be able to finish it, uh, see everything in there right now. And hey, if anybody in here isn't following Ice Cream Mikey, you should jump on that. Play some amazing games, uh, including trying to work his way through the library of the N64 and the Xbox 360. Find all kinds of hidden gems in there. So make sure you click that link, give him a follow, check him out next time he's alive. You'll enjoy hanging out over there. Let's see, Matty O'Shea, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you are having a good, uh, a good start to your weekend right there. When there's no more room in hell, random battles shall walk the earth. You know this is this is true. Let me go ahead and save too. Uh, let's go ahead and make a bunch of save games in here. Must regain my honor. Did I ever have any in the first place? Really? Let's be honest. Did I? Did I? Hard to tell sometimes. All right. So he survived some fights, that's awesome. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. Also me. I'm Don't doing good, thank senior you. student. They say he's the one who dealt with many of the bandits. Who is this Wait, mysterious senior which student? Which one do you mean? Surely not that arrogant gal boy. 
Don't be silly. He's the one with that marvelous dragon tattoo on his back. He must have quite a few young ladies pining after him by now. I saw him fight once, and he was quicker than the wind in spring. Everybody's being so nice all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's see, Maddie O'Shea, hey, thank you for that gift sub to Ice Cream Mikey right there. That's super generous of you, and I really appreciate that. And, uh, Mikey, enjoy some emotes right there. Have fun with those. You used to have a Voltron blanket in the 80s? Oh, my God. I used to have, uh, I used to have Voltron, what was it, a, uh, sheets? Yeah, I used to have Voltron bed sheets when I was a little kid. And I loved them because giant robots, awesome. Giant robot lions that form into a bigger giant robot with a sword? How can you not love that? How can you not absolutely love it? <laughs> All right, so. Uh, we need to head back to the school now. Uh, let's head back to the town square. I think we should can get to the school through there. Uh, lots of people just walking around. Do we need to talk to him? Yeah, we could talk to him if we want to change weapons, but I don't. So we're going to ignore him for right now. Quite a bit of excitement. Yes, bandits can be tricky opponents. Of course, that didn't stop Gal the Lesser from beating a few of them senseless. That boy enjoys causing pain. You, uh, you won't tell anyone about what happened, will you? I couldn't leave my post, you know? I can't keep watch over the students if I'm dead. Uh, forget it, your shame is your own to deal with. Right, and I will, while I'm still alive. What do you need? Uh, Farewell. Nothing from him. Uh, let's see. The blue lion? Nice, nice. I don't remember which one I liked the best. It's been so long. All right, that's locked, so I can't get into the school that way anyway. Uh, how do I get to the school from right here? I don't remember. Uh, let's see, there's pigs there. It was somewhere past here, because I remember coming this way. Up here, maybe? Possibly? There's not a lot of places to go in here, but I get turned around nonetheless. Um, no, I just made a big loop right there. It's interesting. Do I have to go through the town for it? Yeah, I don't know why my health keeps blinking like that. That's super weird. Oh, I know why my health is blinking. Because I keep holding shift to run. I keep holding shift to run, but shift is the heal in this game. So I keep trying to run and it's trying to heal. That explains a few things. Thank you for talking. Oops! Wrong game! Wrong game! Oh my god. Alright, let's get back to the school. Let's get back to the school. And let's not try to hold shift to run. I knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village. I hope I equal your skill someday. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. Alright, sounds good. We do need to speak to him, this is true. Who was that man leading the bandits? He was really scary. He was, and also now he's unbelievably dead, because holy crap. He, he got killed real bad. He got killed real bad. Jeez. Quick save, let's head back into the school. And there's Master Lee. Is he talking to Gao again? Oh, jeez. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. 
You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the spirit cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. <laughs> oh, I can't actually do the first one here. I, I won't. I won't do it. I won't, I won't do anything complimentary to this guy. He's such a jerk. Try somewhere else. I'm simply better than you. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him. If that is what you wish, I will accept. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. Um, I want to ask about this cave and the bandit leader. I will explain what I can after we have dealt with Gao's interruption. I don't want to confuse matters. Trust that I am right. Um, I will return when I am ready then, Master. Remember the basics. They will serve you well. Yeah, I'm glad I get to kick his ass right at the start of the game. This kind of felt like a thing where I'd have to wait all game before I got to beat him down. But no, I'm going to beat him down right now. That is definitely going to happen. We got a quick save right there. Good thinking, LTG. Just in case. Just in case. Um, Alright, let's, let's go ahead and jump into it then. I think I'm about ready. Gao awaits your signal to start the challenge, my student. Tell me when you are ready, and I will have the combat ring prepared. Uh, oh, hey, can you tell me anything about the lion statue in the other room? An amusement left by the previous master of this school, meant to test the students with basic problem solving. I haven't bothered to have it removed. You are free to do as you wish with it. I think it still functions. There are figurines in the chest next to it that are part of the riddle it presents. Just don't let it interfere with more important tasks. I do not favor such unsophisticated diversions. Uh, I'm ready now. Let's do this. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. Agreed. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! Hey, John, welcome in. How are you doing today, John? How's your weekend going? Oh, jeez! Oh, he slowed me down, that jerk. Considering he was fast styles, that's actually a really bad thing. Ooh! Whew! I am faster than him, though, so there's that. Ooh. Dodge, dodge! Holy crap. Heal up. Ooh. 
Oh, wow, that hurts. Alright. Doing some hit and run. I'm getting. Oh, jeez. Getting my hits in where I can. That's important. Oh, dang it. Try to get out of there. Didn't quite make it. couple of hits in there. We're doing pretty good, I'd, I'd say. He's barely been able to touch me. Ooh, that does sting, though. Low. Let's get out of there, top off my health a little bit. Almost got him! There we go! First try, beautiful, beautiful. It is done. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. That was really quiet. Kao, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Welp! Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. All right. That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Lee has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. Let me catch up on chat a little bit right here. I'm doing good, John. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that. <laughs> Jedi Enclave looks a little bit different. How are you doing, Archetype Saber? That's the Retrograde Tom. Welcome in. How are you doing today, Tom? How's the weekend treating you? And if we have any mods around, can I get a shout out for Retrograde Tom? I would appreciate that. Just the Passenger. Welcome in. How's everything going with you? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, he's going to be back, obviously. He's uh, very clearly the mustache-twirling villain archetype, so I'm sure he'll be back before too long, and we'll just kick his ass again. We did pretty well that time, I think. I do like that you can see him walking off the entire time. The entire walk of shame was done in-engine right there. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Let's see. Do you have a path in mind for this play? I'm going to do a Boy Scout play, because I always do. So, goody-goody. That's about it. <laughs> and hey, if anybody in here isn't following Retrograde Tom, jump on that. He's good people. He plays a lot of adventure games, including tons that you never see anywhere else on Twitch, which is awesome. If you like discovering new things, hanging out with a cool community, watching a hilarious streamer, click that link, give him a follow, check him out next time he's live. You'll like it over there. Let's see. Master Lee does what he must. He is our master. But don't you wish that some things made more sense? Anticipation is grueling. So much could be happening that you just don't know about. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and... 
Master Li is waiting for you. You should go to him. Got a big chunk of XP there too. That's awesome. Let's see. So I know I can talk to everybody else here. I don't know how many I need to talk to though. Gao was a fool for challenging you. Oh, he's good, but you've always been stronger. He just wouldn't admit it to himself. Thing is, your prize is going into the cavern beneath the school. To hear Lin tell it, that place is going to challenge even you. What do you know about the cavern? Next to nothing. I know Master Lee forbids us to go in there until our final test, but that's about the only fact I have. I hate repeating stories that aren't my own. Lynn has no such qualms, so go ask her about the cavern. Alright, sure, we can do that. Gao's actions were foolish. He knew he could not beat you fairly, and so he chose to catch you by surprise. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Uh, what kind of items and additional training do you sell? Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Uh, show me what you got. Let's see what you can learn. Zoom enhance. Alright, so he's got uh, Belly of Iron, plus 3 health, minus 1 chi. Heart of Gold, plus 3 chi, minus 1 focus. And Mind of Steel, plus 3 focus, minus 1 health. I think I want to buy a Heart of Gold. Because that seems pretty nice. Plus 3 chi, minus 1 focus. Overall, that's a big net gain, I think. I don't know that there's anything else to purchase in town, so yeah, let's go ahead and get that. <laughs> you can't buy a heart of gold, you must earn it. Turns out money can do a lot of things, which is a wonderful thing. I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and buy a heart of gold. Get some more chi. Now, do I need to equip that, or is that just a thing that I always have now, is the question. Let's see if we can take a look. Uh, oh, Legacy of Master Lee is the bonus I got from finding all Master Lee's books. Focus plus seven. Holy crap. And Heart of Gold, Chi plus three, Focus minus one. All right, yeah, so it's just permanent, I think. That's awesome. Good to know. That's what a heart transplant's for? And you can't even see the scars on my chest. That's uh, very nice right there. <laughs> LTG with the big Boktai feels right there. All right, what else have we got? Uh, this is the journal screen. Click on the quests in this window on the left or the individual tasks in the window on the right to view more details. A description for the selected task, quest or task appears in the window below. Click filter to filter your quest. Click dialogue review to review past dialogues or click plot items to view your inventory. All right, so right now we've just got the thing about the, uh, the statue and talking to Master Lee. All right. We need Kung Fu Vampires? I mean, that is a thing that does happen in uh, uh, Kung Fu flicks sometimes. Kung Fu Vampires. Definitely 100% oh, a thing. there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Uh, I'm not ready just yet. Then leave me to deal with Gao and return when you are ready. I got a quick save for one thing, but also I want to see if we can talk to Lee and ask about the, the cave. Gao was a fool to challenge you. You have always been better than him. Can confirm. Gao is a fool to cheat. Our teacher is a kind man, but he is not soft and doesn't tolerate that kind of thing. You'll face worse things than Gao in the cavern if what I've heard is right. I hope you're ready. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. 
I can't even imagine Master Li saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. Is the hopping vampire the one where if you dump a bunch of rice on the ground, they have to count every grain? I do seem to remember that one. Hey, if you want Master Li to say it, don't give him a choice. Be the best you can. That makes sense. Is that how you live your life? If so, it certainly seems to be an effective philosophy. You could just be pouring honey in my ears, but that's not half as fun as other places it could go. Lynn, you're incorrigible! Maybe I should spend more time training and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. That certainly came out of nowhere. Holy crap. <laughs> um, let's see. Tell me what you've been hearing about the ghosts. Other than what Dawnstar senses, all I have is stories, but they're becoming more and more common. Tales of people being haunted by loved ones, and mad ghosts attacking people on the roads, or even in their homes. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? It's true, it is a little weird that he's walking around shirtless all the time. Hello there, citizen. What can me and my glistening abs do for you today? <laughs> is that Carrie Walgren? She is all over the place. Most definitely. Uh, what exactly are these ghosts? They're exactly what you'd expect. The souls of humans who have died. According to all the legends, when you die, your soul travels to the underworld. Once there, your soul is judged and placed upon the wheel of life, so that it can return to this world in a new life. A soul that doesn't return to the wheel of life becomes a ghost. Let's see. Hey, Lieutenant Link, welcome in. We got a couple hours still to go, so you got some time? How are you doing today? How's your weekend going? Yeah, that is really interesting. I like the idea of the Jiangxi, and I can kind of see where the legends would have come uh, from uh, back in the day, which is interesting as well. <laughs> I want that bumper sticker, Gamma Gubo. That's amazing. So where do these ghosts come from? According to the stories, ghosts are usually people whose souls are trapped in this world, either by circumstance or because they won't let go of their old lives. The thing is, those circumstances are very rare, and you never heard about ghosts ten years ago. Now everyone's talking about them. It's like something has happened, and people aren't leaving this world like they should be. Either that or it's mass hysteria, but I can't believe that explanation. Let's see, you heard the woman chant, read the Wheel of Time or become a ghost, but it's like 14 books. There's so much Wheel of Time. I don't know where to start. Um, let's go back to my other questions. If you wish. Uh, do you know anything about the cavern beneath the school? No one really knows anything about that cavern, except that Master Lee has strictly forbidden us to go in there. He has always said that it is a place of final testing. I hear whispered rumors that there's something horrible down there. I even asked around town, and there's old, old stories of masters before ours sending students into that cavern, and the students never finding their way out. I do have most of the Wheel of Time books sitting around the apartment, so I do plan to read it one day, but I haven't got around to starting it just yet. Let's see. Sleeping Me, I played this game about two months back and had a blast. Loved every second of it. Exciting. I've never finished this one before. Uh, but I remember liking it last time I played it, so I'm hoping to get all the way through this time. And so far, I'm enjoying it. So far, I'm having a good time. And hey, Matty O'Shea, thank you for the 50 bits. The Wheel of Time collectible card game. You know, I pride myself on knowing a lot about weird, obscure little collectible card games. I gotta say, I haven't heard of that one. That is one I wasn't familiar with, so thank you for stumping me on that. I'm gonna have to look into that. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's see. 
Do you know what this horrible thing in the cave is supposed to be? I don't have a clue. But I don't envy you having to go down there. Then again, you are the strongest of us, as we're so often reminded. So you'll be fine. I remember, I think the, the biggest burn I've heard on Wheel of Time is there is a game show series you can find on YouTube called Um Actually, which I very much recommend. It's a fun time. And uh, one of the guys on there, one of the contestants says, uh, my friends keep telling me to read Wheel of Time and they keep saying, don't worry, by book eight it gets really good. And I tell them, that's not reading, that's homework. <laughs> uh, so Lynn, where did you learn about the cavern? This is all rumor, mostly gossip from the people in Two Rivers. As I said, no one really knows what's down there. Well, no one but you, once you tell Master Lee you're ready. All right. Leaving so soon? Oh well, back to my training. I, 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 might, I might stop back later. Don't go anywhere. I'm just, uh, uh, I, I think we might have some things to discuss. Before stuff goes down, I'm just saying. I'll definitely check out the Amazon show, I suspect. Probably, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, there you are. Uh, yes, Master, I am ready to have this big conversation. Wait outside, Gal. I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. Uh, I'm listening. What's the next step? You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. Oh! I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. Master, you've never said anything about this before. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. <laughs> Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within. That includes you and me both. Uh, why hide that you're the Emperor's brother? I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care. Oh! Uh. 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 Uh.
Give the baby a little boop. Your people were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. We catch up on chat. Yeah, Gamers Tavern Show. I actually saw the uh, two thirty a.m. Uh, Wheel of Time uh, pilot episode, and the, the legal situation behind that was a mess. But the episode itself was kind of all right. And hey, Brogan, welcome in. How are you doing today, Brogan? How's your weekend looking? And we we have any mods around? Can I get a shout out for clearly Brogan? I would appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Roxana, that was basically child. I shall teach you of your past in the only way you can understand, as a pre-rendered cinema. <laughs> video games video games <laughs> and if anybody in here isn't following clearly broken you gotta get on that she is a retro horror streamer plays a lot of cool older horror games including some indie horror games does some speed runs as well and just generally cool person to hang out with so make sure you click that link give her a follow check her out next time she's live you'll have a fun time over there most definitely let's see ltg is it bad you're getting fear effect vibes from this i mean any game you get fear effect vibes from that's a bad thing i would say but uh hopefully we'll, we'll see how that goes we'll see <laughs> oh definitely broken i always like sending my viewers over to places i think they'll enjoy hanging out that is one of those places all right uh, master what can you tell me about my people most in the empire know nothing of the land of howling spirits i found its people to be honorable but i can't tell you more than that there was no time to learn more Um, who is this Death's Hand? He is the right hand of the Emperor, and rules the Lotus Assassins in place of Prince Sun Kin, who was killed at Dirge, a death he may have orchestrated. Yes. He shows no hesitation, and gave no thought to the lives of those we faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. I have no doubt he is utterly evil. I have never faced him, but I know of no one living who has. A dark energy sustains him. That is the armor of a man who has no remorse, no pity. So the guy he's talking about is that guy with that red mask we saw back there. Um, if you ever were around when this game originally came out, you probably recognize him because he was on the cover of the box. If he looks familiar. <laughs> Let's see, Turner Tark, I've been thinking about getting some of the screen upgrade kits for my Game Gears and selling two of the three off. Ooh, nice, nice. Having a couple of Game Gears, that's badass. Probably get some decent money for that. Um, I see, when you say the world may join you in being haunted, what do you mean by that? Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what. It is tied to your destiny. I will explain if you want me to move on. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Tell me what all this has to do with my destiny. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions, it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time, they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. Why haven't I seen any of this before? We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so... unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The spirit cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only you are meant to understand what is within. You will see the corruption of the spirit realm for yourself. Um, is it safe? No, but few places truly are. This has been a lot to comprehend, so take your time. There are instructions inside, and something that belongs to you. An amulet. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain. And you will better know your enemy.
All right. Interesting. Got an auto save right here too. But it's, yeah, this this game was always on GameStop shelves. I wouldn't be surprised if it's still there somewhere. Our family was the cast of Bleach. I love me some Bleach. Now, should I at least put a shirt on for this, my son? Never cover up your sweet tats and your rad abs. <laughs> oh, let's see. All right, so we got the cave here. It's auto save, so we should be good there. Let's uh, get in here and see what there is to see. The sturdy gate bears a clay seal. A message is carved across the surface in Master Lee's handwriting. Spirits go mad if denied passage to the underworld. They are strong, but you can fight them. You can't kill the dead, but in defeat they are disrupted and can't reform for a time. You are tied to the reason why spirits wander. Many appeared after your people fell, and some are held in this cave. They are drawn to your amulet. It is a head waiting for you. Be careful. It is desired by many seeking power beyond the mortal realm. I make no apology for these trials, my student. You will come to see how necessary they are. <laughs> Brogan, my son, bitches need to see your sweet tats. They shall come from far and wide to comment on your Instagram photos. Be well, my son. <laughs> I didn't know there was a Bleach one-shot. What is it about? Is it like another epilogue, or how are they doing that right there? Let's see. Fluffy is welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day right there. Glad to have you with us. That sounds as like a do not enter side, but it's like, hey, if you go in here, it's going to be super dangerous, and you're probably going to get the shit kicked out of you. But you, you specifically, you should go in there anyway. Uh, ignore all of the warnings I was mentioning earlier. Get in there, buddy. Get in there and do the thing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and quick save. It seems dangerous. Makeup on, clothes on, pizza ordered. Velvet, sounds like you are in for an awesome day. What kind of pizza did you order? I always need to hear about pizza toppings. I'm from Chicago, therefore I'm obligated to be obsessed about pizza. <laughs> I keep waiting for something to try and jump me. This seems like an area I'm going to get jumped in. Can I break these pots? What is this? I can break pots! It's like Legend of Zelda. It's beautiful. Let's break some more stuff. I don't respect any of your containers. None of them. I hope this isn't part of the test. It's part of the test. I'm clearly failing this. Um, oh yeah, I can't recover my uh, chi down here because I don't have uh, Dawnstar with me. Gotta watch out for that. Uh, let's see. Short version, the Soul Reapers and their kids get together to do a ceremony that purifies the souls of the departed captains. You really think they're going to do more bleed? What happened to Burn the Witch? I thought that was going to be the new hotness right now. I mean, it hasn't been, but I thought it was going to be. This pillar of stone contains some sort of metallic object carved within it. Uh, within it. Carved into its crystalline surface is an inscription. The dragon amulet was with you in Dirge. I understand what it does, but you are the one meant to be trained in its use. I am sorry that my actions denied you this. Essence gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation. But with this amulet, you can tap their true potential. Look, I'm all for jewelry, but if I see a jewelry explode a piece of rock, I'm not sure I want it in my chest so much. That seems... dangerous. <laughs> Let's see, Black Rock, one of your favorites is Alfredo sauce, chicken, and spinach. That sounds fantastic. I like it right there. Bring back zombie powder? Jesus! Going all the way back right there, holy crap. <laughs> The Dragon Amulet is your birthright and a tool for focusing your spiritual power. As you travel the Jade Empire, you will find gems that enhance your abilities. Place these gems in the sockets of the Dragon Amulet to gain access to their power. Alright, so right now we have only one gem in there called the Flawed Warrior Gem. Body plus one. 
All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Sounds Iron Man level kind of dangerous. I mean, if they want to put like a little glowing like nuclear reactor in my chest, that'd be cool too. But I don't know if that's what it does. <laughs> oh, they actually announced a new series. Is it gonna be a new series of Bleach for sure? What happened to Burn the Witch? Is it just gone? Are we abandoning that? It's kind of sad. All right. Uh, so let's see. Oh, there we are. All right, so it is equipped. I got plus one body. Uh, so the nice thing is you've got primary stats and secondary stats. Uh, like your body stat governs your health, but if you up the body stat, it also ups uh, your conversational skills as well. So um, you get two skill ups for the price of one, which is pretty cool. I like that. Oh, not from Kubo. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So I think we're good there. Your people were adept at using essence gems. I kept it from you because power is a beacon. The forces behind the restless dead will take an interest in you. Even mindless spirits may be drawn to you, just as they were confined here. In achieving your true power, you become a target that many will not be able to resist. Oh, speaking of... Uh, here's a bunch of ghosts. Thousand cuts. Time to punch some ghosts. There we go. Whoop, jeez. And I'm on fire, holy crap. Go ahead and heal up, because I've got a ton of chi now, so I can do that. Go ahead and break his block there. And he's toast, excellent. And break his block as well. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Didn't get any chi heals like I predicted, but that's all right. All right. Definitely can't break that pot, unfortunately. Uh, where am I headed to next? I don't remember which way I came in. Am I just leaving? Is that all there is to see down here? I don't actually see anything else to see in here, so yeah, I think I might be. Right, let's quick save real quick. Dead ghost! is toast can confirm <laughs> i love it's very it feels very anime for somebody to say oh eventually this is going to be a problem for you and then just immediately a problem right there i heard about that one ltg i've been reading a whole bunch about that one supposedly it's absolutely bonkers but some people are liking it one there <laughs> wusha ghostbusters come on that sounds amazing how would you not want that Instead of don't cross the streams, it's don't do your sweet kicks all at the same time. Master Lee sealed the door behind you. Alright, so we can't just go back. There must be something else in there we need to do. Let's go check right there. We came! We saw! We kicked its ass! <laughs> Alright, where else is there to go in here? Is there something else? Oh, there is another gate down here. Alright. The writing on this clay tablet is strangely illegible. Rather than just being poorly inscribed, it seems to change as you try to read it. You notice that the amulet you found in this room has started to glow dimly. Uh, hold up the amulet. The amulet glows brighter and suddenly the inscription on the clay seal is clearly legible. My student, I hope you realize your importance. The restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld. All of us will suffer if things continue as they are. Seek the source of this problem and eradicate it. That is your purpose and burden. I hope that the basics I have taught you will aid you in setting everything right. I hope so too. Let's see. Matty O'Shea, thank you for the 50 bits. I appreciate that. Hell yeah, Ghostbusters. I love the original Ghostbusters movie. Uh, we played one of the Ghostbusters games on stream too. Uh, the one that I think was originally on 360 I really enjoyed. And they remastered it not too long ago. It's good stuff. All right. Another clay tablet up ahead. And an autosave, so there's probably going to be some fights. A clay tablet like the others you previously encountered. The script is once again written in your master's hand. Not all spirits succumb to bestial rage. A strong will can transcend death. 
These beings may have powers beyond any living foe, and intelligence to beguile and confuse. All will suffer if the dead remain this way. Soon you must leave two rivers. Seek the source of this problem, even if it leads to the heart of the Empire. I have old friends who may guide you, but I have old enemies, too. The cave is secure. Meditate on what you see here. When you leave, all will be changed. That seems like some ominous foreshadowing. I see. I actually got out of um, uh, Shonen Jump a while back when they stopped selling it in the U.S., which is still really frustrating to me. I'm still angry about that because I was more than happy to pay for it once a week, uh, but now they, they won't take my money. Uh, but uh, yeah, Doctor Stone, I want to get back into. I enjoyed that when I was reading it. It was good times. Oh, one of the old masters here, apparently. Uh, yeah, yeah, about that. There's uh, some stuff going down, it turns out. Uh, let's see. I actually got out of uh, My Hero Academia at some point. They were doing one of the hero training, and I was getting frustrated because they're like, oh, who should the matchups be in this training? Let's have literally every character you've ever seen versus an equal number of characters that you've never met before, but we're just going to give lots of screen time to. That always drives me nuts. I'm like, I don't, I don't know who any of these people are. I don't care, and they got 50% of the screen time now. So I kind of backed out there. Uh, you ruled here? Were you a master at the school? Yeah, I can understand the frustration. Wait, I cloud the way. Where do you need to go? Who is the shepherd? Yeah, that's basically matches up with what we've been hearing as well. Let's go ahead and take all the new ones and throw this into the story and let's keep whatever ones to all the audiences. I will never forget the, the getting to the last arc of Bleach and just them explaining that the big ad, the bad, has 26 lieutenants, one for each uh, letter of the alphabet. And I'm just like, oh, please, no. <laughs> and sure enough, I get so much screen time. Uh-oh. Wait, what does he want to do? Uh oh. Oh, we have to fight now. We're, we're fighting. Luckily, I'm way faster than him. Oh, he's healing though. How rude. There we go. Got him beat. Now I just have to take down his minions. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Seems like a trap. My power is stretched thin, bled away, and you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. 
Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search, but look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. It's, yeah, Gamers Tavern Show, sometimes sometimes when I drop a manga, it's when it feels like they're just sort of creating every kind of character they can think of and throwing them all on the wall to see what'll stick. I'm not a fan of that. Falls, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, some of them were good, but there was just so many of them. They kind of got drowned out, most definitely. Uh, excuse me, who are you? I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. But when you know both sides of the Veil of Death, ability alone will save you. I have a moment of power. A window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire. And I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. That does sound red. Uh, if, if I choose one, am I prohibited from learning the other? I have energy enough only to instill knowledge of one, not both. Knowledge of the other may come in time, but not today. Alright. Um, I, I do like fire magic. Shoot the fireballs. Sure, I choose fire. Emotions burn within, but can be coaxed outwards as well. Harness this to bring fire to your hands. Yours is the power to unleash dire flame. Uh, is this the kind of style Master Lee Caution Gao against using? There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last. Um, what the heck? That doesn't seem normal. Uh, let's see. Omaru, not, not actually Marina Sirtis, but she is in Mass Effect, if I remember correctly, so she has worked with uh, Bioware before. Off till next Wednesday with pay. Hell yeah, Follows. Hope you enjoy it. Sounds nice. All right, new style gain. Let's look around here before we investigate the thing. The Nature of the Spirit, Volume 1. Mankind has long known that we are not alone in this world. Descended from heaven, risen from the ground, present all around us are spirits. These beings often go unseen, but when they choose to interact with us, the effect is usually profound. But what are these beings? Are they people who have died? Are they servants created at the beginning of the world by the great dragon? Are they something else entirely? Or are they all of the above? In my research, I have managed to find and communicate with a number of them. I contacted some through priests or relatives when it was a spirit returned from the dead, but other encounters were much stranger. I like strange encounters. I'm down with this. Let's look around and see what we got around here. Do a chest right here. Flawed scholar gem and structured body. Interesting. Is that a new skill? It might be. Let's take a look. Uh, Flood Scholar Gem, Mind Plus One, hell yeah. Let's go ahead and equip that. We got slots for three different gems, so we may as well go ahead and put that on there. Um, yeah, Structured Body is a new technique. Plus three health, plus one intimidation. Hell yeah, just giving me that? I'll take it. Sounds fantastic. 
How about you used up 137 gigs out of 243 on your phone? Check in your uh, settings. That should help you narrow it down. I have to go in there a lot because I use up a lot of space on my phone as well. All right, cool, cool. Quick save right there because I don't think we've done that in a bit. Uh, Jade Empire Bestiary Volume 3, To Kill a Spirit. A wise monk once asked, how can you kill a thing that is already dead? The answer is simple, you cannot. You can, however, disperse a spirit. This is not the same as killing, but it has a similar effect. It is important to remember that spirits are virtually immune to man-made weapons. You must confront spirits with martial, magic, or transformation styles. Never underestimate the strength of spirits. They may appear insubstantial, but they can still be deadly to the living. Alright, we got that. Got some bones over here? Oh, some money. Cool. Loot the dead! Uh, the player has found one of the three scrolls of the Iron Palm style. This scroll is part of a powerful technique. Ooh. One of the three meditation doctrines required to understand the Iron Palm fighting style. The aspirant must possess and study all three before he or she can safely attempt to train in this demanding art. The body must become the anvil, the unyielding surface on which the style is shaped. Sweeping attacks and powerful charges impact so heavily, it is like the meeting of hammer and steel, each blow conveying as much energy back to the aspirant. If the body can't withstand and redirect its energy, Iron Palm is potentially more damaging to the user than the target. A little spooky. I'll give him some water in the form of bullets. <laughs> I do remember that. All right, is there anything else to see in here? I've already checked out all that. There's a chi healing thing. Or right. go ahead and grab some of that. There we go. And yeah, I think that's everything to see in here. So a quick save again. And yeah, let's jump in the weird portal. Sure, why not? See where this is going to take us to. Oh, uh, hey, buddy. What are you doing out here? You are supposed to be meditating on the amulet and what you have learned for at least another day. Um, I, I had a vision. It was very sudden. A vision? Oh, of course you did. A natural reaction to the great amount of information I have placed before you. It may have something to do with your amulet. Uh, tell me, did you learn anything about the destiny that stretches before you, or what has led you this far? Um, she said I was the last spirit monk. What does that mean? Be careful. I do not want you to be misled by sources I cannot anticipate. Your people had warriors by that name. I regret that my actions caused their downfall. Twenty years ago, the Empire was mired in drought. Your people revered the Water Dragon, so their Temple of Dirge was the ideal place to ask the heavens for help. But the Water Dragon governed more than just moisture. The drought was part of the natural order, and not for mortals to alter. The spirit monks denied us access. The Emperor was incensed. He asked me to plan a display of power that would force their compliance. As our armies marched, I realized how wrong we were. Uh, did he try and stop your brother? He could not be dissuaded. I fled with you as the rest of your people were killed. You must discover for yourself what being the last of your kind means. What else did this vision reveal? You are only to retrieve the amulet, learn to place gems in it, and meditate on your future. I don't want you to be distracted. Master Lee, there's still no sign of her. What? What is it, Wu? I'm sorry, my mind was elsewhere. Dawn Stars, I told you, Master. She went missing after Gao's men were discovered in the school. The state of her room suggests some sort of fight took place. Oh, jeez. I see. She is not there. No, Master Lee. 
There's no sign of her. I see. This may prove useful. Thank you, Jing Wu. You may go. Useful? That's a weird word to Your use. Your appearance put Gao's disgrace out of my mind, but it would seem that your early exit from the caves has come at just the right time. Let's see. What did you mean when you said this would be useful? I didn't mean to appear callous. I'm sure Dawnstar is fine. What I meant was that this will serve as a final measure of your abilities. What better way to show mastery over your abilities than to turn them towards helping your fellow student? Seek her out. I doubt she is in the school, and someone would have seen her if she was in the village. You might want to try the surrounding marshland. Um, I'll start right away. That is good. Time is very important. Here, take some silver. I asked Fendo and the others to stock essence gems in preparation for this day. Hopefully they have done so. You learned in the cave how single gems are viewed as trinkets and used by self-professed healers and would-be sorcerers, but you can unlock their full potential. Make sure you have everything you need when you leave to find Dawnstar. Do not cloud your mind with anything else. When you return, your course will be clear. All right, so it would appear that we didn't kick Gao's ass hard enough before. So we're going to have to do it again, but this time with gusto. Uh, let's see what we can buy now. I heard about Dawnstar. Perhaps I can help in some small way. Fendo received some essence gems and passed a few along to me. They may be of use to you. Um... I should make use of your training, the main training you offer. I may not be back for some time. Let's see what you can learn. I don't think I can afford any of his other training. Um... I can, but that'll take all of my cash. Now, how many times am I going to teach you this lesson, Ethan Fillion? It'll show him. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, I can get a flawed monk gem. That would be kind of nice. Uh, I already have all the other ones. So it's basically either I get one of the trainings or I get a gem. And the trainings are permanent. Which is really cool. So like, getting Belly of Iron would give me an extra... Uh, plus three to my health, and I'd still have plus two to my chi, so that's still a, a big plus. Um, and that's... Uh, hang on a sec. Hey, Stealthy Golem! Welcome in, Stealthy Golem, and thank you for the raid. How, what were you playing today? Uh, how did it go? Tell me everything. And welcome into all your viewers as well. For anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games. I play the obscure, the unusual, and the nostalgic. And today we are uh, starting on Jade Empire, which I've never beaten before, so I'm looking forward to that. You gotta run, no worries, Stealthy Golem. Thank you for bringing your community over. I appreciate that. You take care of yourself. Uh, let's see. All right, before we do anything, I'm going to back out of here and I'm going to save because I think I can have two of those techniques. But just in case I can't, I want to make sure we get a, a save we can use here. Uh, so let's go ahead and save right there. Let's see. Might and Magic. Nice, nice. The original or one of the other ones in there? And Stooby Doo, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I am worried. All right, so Let let's see if I can get Belly of Iron. I kind of want that one. And then let me go back and see if I have both at the same time. Because that would be amazing. Uh, yeah, I have both at the same time. That's awesome. So since this one is chi minus one and this does chi plus three, there's a little bit of canceling out, but it's still a net gain on both. Uh, so that's really awesome. 
Oh, the three pack. All right. I know exactly the one you're talking about. That's awesome. I have never played any of the Might and Magic games. Uh, aside from the first person one, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, which I know is completely different. Uh, so that's really awesome. I hope uh, you folks were enjoying watching that. It sounds really cool. All right. So that's good because that's a permanent buff. Whereas uh, gems, I can be equipped. They can be unequipped. Uh, having a permanent buff is really good. And I don't think I'm ever going to be coming back here. So I do want that right there. Might Magic 6 through 8, highly recommended. Uh, would you say it's a good place to start with the series for someone that's never played before? Uh, that's my biggest thing, uh, trying to figure out how to get into the series right there. And Rainer, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing well. Alright, so I got a nice little buff right there. Uh, where do I go now is the question. How do I get to those swamp lands he was talking about? Dawnstar wanted to be here when you left the cavern, but she's gone. If you ask me, something's wrong. I don't know where she could have gone, but when or Lynn might have some idea. You could ask in town as well. All right, sounds good. All right, cool. Thanks, Rainer. Let's see. Gonna be starting Might and Magic on the C64, so I guess that's pretty early. I'd say so. I'd say so. I hope you end up enjoying that one as well. I know very little about that version. Dawnstar is probably here somewhere. She wouldn't leave the village. She knows it's not safe. Unless she was kidnapped. I suppose you are looking for Dawnstar. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen her. I'm surprised you don't know where she is. I would have thought you, if anyone, would know. I'm not psychic. Um. Goodbye. I hope you find Dawnstar. She was always nice. But who is games is shame? That's some of the games I play in here are definitely pretty shameful. Can confirm. <laughs> Falls. All right, I guess let's head into town then. See if anybody in town knows where she is. We gotta find her. We gotta find her. Make sure she's still safe. Hopefully she is. I like Gal better when he's not here. He yells too much. Yeah, he's kind of the worst. Most definitely. All right, take care of yourself, Kimagumo. Thanks for hanging around. We will see you around. All right, into the town, then. Oh. I couldn't believe it. He killed him with a single blow and laughed as this poor boy gasped his last. You! Gao the Lesser did this. He was dragging some sort of sack, and this boy challenged him. Let's see. Why did he kill student C. Pat? This brave young man stopped Gao and demanded to know what he was carrying. Gao just laughed at him and tried to walk on by, but the student challenged him. Gao just shrugged, turned, and killed this poor boy in one blow. Cripes. What was in the sack? I couldn't say. It was awfully large and looked heavy, but I was watching from a ways away. We didn't want to get close to that murderer. That's fair. We hid out of sight as Gao went toward the gate out of town. All right, take care of yourself, Brogan. Thanks for hanging around. Uh, good luck with your adulting, and we will see you pretty soon, I'm sure. Let's see. Rainer, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Could it have possibly been a person in that sack? Possibly, but we were too far away to say for sure. If you really want to know, go catch that fiend. He was headed for the gate out of town. Can do. Uh, if he went towards the gate, maybe I can still catch him. Gao is in a rush, but you might be able to catch him still. Be on your guard if you truly mean to pursue him. Gao's mad with rage, as this poor lad learned too late. Yeah, he definitely burned to death. From a punch, I suppose. Alright, let me make sure I have all my uh, martial styles equipped as well. I do. Got Dire Flame on my four as well right there. Uh, let's see. Practitioners Dire Flame can throw bolts of fire, project explosive fireballs, and even summon dragon-like burning constructs that immolate enemies with tongues of flame. Sometimes the sight of a fighter wielding the power of flame is enough to reduce the bravest of opponents to begging for mercy. I like it. I like it. With a single slap, and the guy does appear to be dead, so I, I guess it worked. So that's definitely a thing. 
There you are. I have been hoping you would wander by. What's up, dude? I hear your friend has gone missing. So sad. Very sad indeed. More importantly, my stock has arrived. Braving roads dangerous with ghosts and bandits. A caravan runner just dropped off a load of supplies. In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. That master of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. Um, I I'm in a hurry. Just show me this new stock of yours. Have a look for yourself. All right, so he's got some flawed gems. He's also got some inferior gems, which, uh... Upgrade my speech skills, but I prefer the ones that upgrade my uh, stats directly. Either way, I can't afford any of those. Yeah, thanks for bragging about your price gouging, you jerk. <laughs> he barely even tried to hide it. He made a small effort, granted, but uh, not much of one, that's for sure. I understand Dawn Star likes to be alone, but she wouldn't wander off without telling someone. She was in the sack. He put her in the sack. Don't worry, I'm going to go rescue her. That is the thing that's going to happen. Got to figure out how to get over there. Uh, this appears to be a dead end. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Um, Alright, so where is she? This is the door I just came from right there. Oh, the guy's not burning anymore. That's nice at least. I don't think I need to go to the beach. I didn't think there was any other exits over there. I remember seeing a gate that I couldn't get through before. Maybe that's where I gotta go now. Yeah, over here. Here we go. It's a bit of a shame what happened to the guard here. The fool got in the way of Gao the Lesser. The young master thought you might come after him, so he left us here to slow you down. You were lucky against those bandits, but we're not so easy to push around. Lucky, he says. I think he's going to find that this is uh, not going to work out well for him. Let's see. Mantis, welcome in. This is an old school game, definitely. How are you doing today, Mantis? Hope everything is going good. Oh, jeez. Sorry to hear about that. Hopefully it mends uh, nice and clean for you, at least. Uh, just stand aside. My quarrel is with Gao, not you men. If you're quarreling with Gao, you're crossing us. Gao the Greater makes sure his son is well protected. Very well protected. We'll do more than slow you down. Oh, got guys behind me as well. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Alright, I did not want that many dudes. Um, can I test out the fire skill? I think it's ranged. That looked kind of ranged. Oh, jeez. It is indeed ranged, that's pretty cool. So I'm not going to use it right this second, but that seems like a thing I would enjoy very much. Alright, there's... God, there's so many guys here. Uh, let's see if I can take that guy down. There we go. One dude down. So I get surrounded. And I still don't have anybody recovering my chi, so I'm on my own for that. Nope, oh, get out of there. And I, I need to figure out how to switch targets as well, because sort of attacking whoever the game decides to throw at me is not going to be a great strategy going forward. All right, now I'm making it work, though. I'm pleased about that. There we go, nice. Ow. Ooh, get out of there. That guy's giving me some troubles. Go ahead and get this chi right there. There we go. Whew, that was a lot of dudes. Oh, my head 
feels like a war drum, and the battle did not go in the Empire's favor. What happened? I, I was speaking with... with... Gao, that spoiled little noisy cricket. He hit me without cause. Now you're lucky to be alive. Gao murdered a student on his way to you. That repulsive... I wish I'd known ahead of time. You know, before he hit me. Gate guards were an unappreciated lot. I'm sorry about that, student. I truly am. Did he have Dawn Star with him? I didn't see her. He was dragging a large sack, and I asked if he needed help. He said no, just the key to the gate, and then he conjured this ball of flame around his hand. I don't really remember what happened next. I might have passed out. No one's ever threatened me before. He's really bad as a gate guard. Uh, where could he have gone? There's only one place he could have gone if he left the village. The path leads past the fields to the swamps. What, what did he do? Why would he resort to attacking me just to leave the village? Uh, he kidnapped Dawnstar. What? That arrogant whelp! I trust you're following him to put him in his place. Go on. Why waste time talking to me? Get moving! Let's see. Will this guy have a redemption arc? I don't think so. He seems like a too minor of an NPC for it. Let's go ahead and recover my chi while I'm here. Swamps Witcher 1 trauma intensifies. Oh god, not the swamps! I can't! Please don't make me do the swamps again. It's too much. Absolutely too much. Sewers when? Oh god. They had those in Witcher 1 as well. Uh, Alright. Oh, hey, bird. Quit crying, fool, or we will gut you like a carp. I thought it was a bird for a second. My poor Fen, what have you done to her? Who's there? Oh, jeez. He has a lot of reach. Oh, got him! There we go. Oh, he's very dodgy. Oh, it should probably blocked. Oh god, almost dead. Get this health orb first. Pop off the rest of my chi. I have so little reach with this style. There we go. Just outspeeded him at the end. Yeah, that bird's got attitude. Kind of scares me a little bit. A little concerned. Gone. She's gone. They took her away. My beautiful fen. My flower of the fields. Please, my name is Hing, and you must help me. My fen is so delicate, she will chafe under a bandit's yoke. Uh, hang on, slow down. Tell me what happened. We were traveling to two rivers. I bring goods between the farms that line the valley. I knew we were getting too close to the marshes. Why was I so foolish? Of course these thieves would strike at my beautiful fen. I can't leave without her. They'll work her to death or eat her or worse. Can you do anything, please? Um, if, if I see her, I'll do what I can. I thank you, and my Fen will thank you when she is returned to me. My precious flower of the fields, I can't leave without her. Alright, I'll do what I can, dude. Hope we find an airboat and do it. I would love to do an airboat segment. That would be amazing. Let's see. Yeah, Mantis, I heard Skyrim's getting another release, and they're adding some new features to it, which is awesome. I'm excited about that. And yeah, Lars Mandel, welcome in. How's your weekend going? We're just getting started on this today, so, but I'm enjoying it so far. Save the flower of the fields. It seems like there's a lot of flowers in these fields. Which one am I saving? I think you could narrow it down a little bit. Also, I just noticed there's a uh, chi fountain back there. And go ahead and top off. Because why the heck not? There we go. And ooh, is there something breakable over here too? Five silver. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. 
And let's quick save too, because why not? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, this is the special edition on PC, which adds a couple things, uh, most notably keyboard and mouse support, which is really nice. I am no common bandit. I'll be hunted by far worse than you. Attack, young student. I am not your enemy. This was a misunderstanding. Yeah, adding fishing to the game. I do appreciate a good fishing mini game, so I'm good there. This guy seems like he kicks some ass. Uh, you act like you know me. I've never seen you before. I have tried very hard to go unnoticed, but I also need to eat. I've been on the outskirts of your village once or twice to trade goods. I saw you training. My name is Zoo. I have been called Sagacious Zoo, if you prefer a title. It's a name I share with the first emperor, Sagacious Tien. <laughs> yeah, that, there seemed to be a lot of blood for a misunderstanding right there. Uh, if you're not an enemy, what are you doing out here? That is a personal matter. You'll have to take my word that I'm above common robbery, if not many other things. Besides, I have already shown that I have no love for the more common kinds of filth roaming out here. Uh, were you fighting Gao's mercenaries? Why were you fighting Gao's mercenaries? If you know that name, you know the type of men the family employs. I wonder... Does their increased presence in the marsh have anything to do with why you are here? Oh, uh, yeah, my friend is missing. Gao the Lesser may have something to do with it. Gao the Lesser? I know the family. This is a brazen act, even for them. But now I understand why their men are clearing a path through the marsh. No wonder you came out here as you did. You're looking to rescue someone. You probably gave no thought to your own safety. That is very selfless of you. I tend to think more... efficiently. I did hear something about a camp. They seem to be killing bandits so they won't be disturbed. There wasn't much more. I just wanted some peace and quiet. Uh, you must know the swamp well. Can you lead me in the right direction? No, I'm not interested in looking for trouble. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. As bad as this is, you're better off without my help. Uh, let's see. Well, if you see a student named Dawnstar, at least show her how to get out of here. Dawnstar? I am... Familiar with that name. But I still can't. I've spent a long time avoiding trouble. I don't want to go looking for it now. I'm sorry. Alright, thanks for very little, dude. Wait. Dawnstar, your friend should not suffer because of my reluctance. A group of men went to the north. They had a large pack that was giving them trouble. That may be where their camp is. There's no way to leave the marsh in that direction. Not on foot, anyway. I will show you. It is easy to get lost. There we go. Uh, you changed your mind when I mentioned Dawnstar. Why? I can refuse some fool determined to get lost in the swamp, but I doubt your friend earned her fate. Gal the Lesser shouldn't get such a prize without a fair fight. Now come, we have some catching up to do. We'll find them. Like I said, they can't get out in that direction. Not on foot. Yeah, your assistance is welcome. I will try not to make you regret it. Your task is probably complicated enough as it is. Let's go. 
The main camp is to the north, but there are soldiers all around this area. If you want to find trouble, let's do it quickly. All right, new follower. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so let's see what he can do exactly. Um, so if I set him to attack, he attacks with a staff. If I set him to support, he does extra damage with weapon styles. And also he has the ability to damage spirits. So I think I'm going to leave him on attack right now because I haven't used my weapon style very much. So I think he'll be better off set to attack. I still want somebody that can recover my... Uh, uh, spirit, though, my chi, but I don't think he's it, unfortunately. So, quick save. Let's figure out where to go. So, we said they're up to the north, so let's see if there's anything else to see around here. And then we will head up north. Uh, what is this? Jade Empire Bestiary Volume 1 Ogres! These curious beasts are not always as dangerous as their looks might imply. Those who confront one of these hulking monstrosities should treat with them with caution, however, for despite the ogre's obvious skill at making weapons and armor, they are little more than wild animals. Although ogres are typically resistant to earth and air magic, fire and ice do significant damage to them, and weapons are usually effective against their thick hides. Oh god, I want to fight Shrek! We are in the swamp, though, and they are talking about ogres, so, you know. Does seem to be hinting that that's happening there. Blackrock, this reminds you of KOTOR. It should, because it's made by the same people that made KOTOR, Bioware. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the same uh, same engine, or a similar engine, at least. Uh, so yeah, definitely a connection right there. Oh, hello, what is this? Oh, some cash. Alright, I'll do that. And that looks like there's everything to see around here. Just making sure... All right, let's head north. Your quarry has based himself in the north. There are paths right and left, but I doubt one is any safer than the other. All right. Uh, what do you think, Chet? Should I go right or should I go left? I legitimately have no idea whether one path is uh, safer than the other. He says he doesn't think one is safer than the other. What do you guys think? Let's see. Blackrock makes you want to play this really badly because you love KOTOR. I, I mean, I, I'd just say go for it, most definitely. Light? That sounds kind of like right. <laughs> you too, you trolls! Right, let's go left. Let's go left. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, stairs. This must be the fancy. Well, what have we here? More outlaws? They're everywhere. Cow was right to order them killed, even if just to keep the camp clear while he secures his woman. This ain't one of our soldier. You can't fool us. If Cow wants us out of the swamp, you'll have to fight us every step. Um. I don't know what you're talking about, but all right. Flip, flip, there we go. Alright, got that guy taken down. Finish this guy off with a power attack. Ooh, he's actually doing good damage to these guys. That's awesome. Woo! Alright, yeah, he kicked some ass there. And I got a level up from that. Booyah! Oh, I should have uh, healed up before I did that. Alright. Oh, let's get a level. Let's get a level there. So I got three points to spend. I am going to do two points on spirit and one point on body. There we go. Five style points to spend. All right, we'll do that. I think we're probably going to spend most of them in thousand cuts, though. Except we need six to get a speed increase. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get another 25 points uh, percent of uh, damage, though. That seems like a good thing. And then we'll save that last style point for next level, which hopefully will give us just enough points to get the speed increase a little bit. Need a repair droid? We do. Where's my repair droid? Could definitely use one of those. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and quick save again after that. Let's see. Oh, I can talk to him. 
If your friend is in danger, we should not waste time talking. But apparently he doesn't want to. Cool, cool. Keep exploring over here. There's a little star over here. I thought that meant point of interest. But I don't actually see any points of interest over here. Kind of weird. I don't think there's any way to see what kind of point of interest it is, but uh, so let's move on then. It looks like the soldiers have taken control from the bandits who normally rule here. I'm not sure it's an improvement. Yeah, I'm not sure either. But uh, let's go beat him up. Oh, you s look! More bandits creeping into the camp. Get them! There we go. I think I finished off. I'm definitely feeling the increase in damage. It's nice. Put those guys down in uh, two combos instead of uh, three. Hell yeah, we're tearing these guys apart. That went well. He's on fire, but otherwise we did pretty well there. What? Who? No, wait. I don't want any more trouble. Uh, fine. Just tell me what I want to know. Yes, I can do that. Whatever you want. Let's see. I checked this game uses the Odyssey engine, which was an update of the Aurora engine for Neverwinter. Let's see. Odyssey was used on KOTOR 1, 2, and Jade Empire. And then upgraded into the Eclipse engine for Dragon Age Origins. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you for looking that up, Gamers Tavern Show, and I appreciate that. Where is Dawnstar? Who? The woman. She got loose from the sack and ran into the cave. Would have been safer out here with us. That cave is home to both toad demons and ogres, and both are in a foul temper from fighting over the space. Running in there is like moving from the claws to the fangs. We refused to go after her, so Gao went himself. Why did he kidnap Dawnstar? I don't know. He just said it was very important that he get her tonight. He brought a few groups of us over for it. We didn't take her. We made Gao do that himself. I know we shouldn't have let him talk us into any of this, but he doubled our pay. It was just one woman. Compared to some things, well, all I'll say is that this wasn't the worst thing done by a Gao lately. Oh, God. Uh, wh what do you mean? Look, that's all I can say. Just let me go. I won't be any more trouble for you. If I go back to Gao's father, I'll be killed as a failure. A reasonable punishment. Gao has some things right. By my grandfather, I won't get in your way again, I swear. Uh, get out of here, I'll follow Gao into the cave. You are far too generous with your mercy. Thank you. You won't see me again. All right, and I got some uh, open palm points for that. Let's see. So that's clearly the cave right there, but before we head in there, let's look around and see what else we can see. Because there appears to be a flying machine right there, but I didn't get a chance to ask him about it. Uh, oh, there's some more breakables here. Traps run! Focus evade! Oh, cool. High focus increases your chance of avoiding damage from traps by evading. Alright, cool, cool. I appreciate that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, quick save again since we had some good luck right there. Open palm, best palm? I think so. Quite handy indeed. Alright, Ren, good luck with the cooking. Right, I suspect this is the way that loops around to the other path, but I'm going to see if there's any goodies over here. There's a bunch of bad guys we gotta beat up. Something else over there, too. I can't see what Shouldn't killing outlaws yield some good silver? All I found is this troublesome creature, and she won't do a thing I say. Her last keeper trained her too well. If we can't get any work out of her, I want her cut and carved for tomorrow. If I have to be out here on Gao's little errand, at least I can be well fed. Look out! It must be more bandits! Get them! Well, that sounded horrifying. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, jeez. Camera! Camera, what are you doing? Ooh, that did a good amount of damage. This camera will actually be the death of me. 
heal up a little bit. All right, and he's toast. What the heck were they Thank doing Thank you here? for saving me. I was getting tired of catering to these fools. I thought I was saved when they killed the bandits that raided my husband's wagon, but these soldiers were no better. You have my gratitude. Are well, you safe now, Fen? Hing sent me. Fen? You have come this far for Fen? Did Hing send you here without even mentioning my name? Oh dear, this will be unpleasant for someone. I am Sing Wah. These animals made me cook for them, clean up their filth. And Hing sent you for the flower. I will kill him. Uh, you aren't the flower of the fields that Hing mentioned? No, but she is here. Oh yes, just over here. Let me present her to you. Fen, come! Oh! It's, uh, it's an ox. Fen, my flower! You are safe. Oh, no. I knew this great fighter would save you. I couldn't leave without you. The cart needs your strength to pull it. I am safe as well, Hing. Or did you forget I was missing? Oh, no. Oh, there you are, my dear. I'm glad you did not come to harm. But you are more concerned about the ox, I see. Um, have either of you seen a man named Gao? Gao? One of the soldiers said someone with that name is at a camp to the far north. Of course, he may have been speaking of someone more important. Perhaps the camp goat. I prayed for your safe return, dear, but the cart will not move itself. You will be lucky if I don't make you pull it while the ox rides. She is clearly important enough. Come, leave any of our stolen silver as reward for our savior. I value my own life at least that much. Someone has to. Yes, dear. <laughs> Do I have to slaughter that thing for you to show me some attention? No, dear. Are you lying again? No, dear. Are you listening to me? No, dear. <laughs> Well, he's going to live a very interesting life, I suspect. Maybe not a very long one, but interesting life. <laughs> Sephiro, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Don't kill the cow king. <laughs> yeah, he deserved that one. He earned that one, most definitely. Hey, Tonda, welcome in. How have things been going with you, Tonda? What have you been playing recently? Tell me everything. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh my goodness that was brutal to err is human to endure is bovine I love it I love it all right I didn't even see how much gold I got there uh where do I check that I have no idea Ooh, I got a lot of gold I'm up to almost a thousand at this point very cool hey Emperor Emperor thank you so much for the gift sub to Tanagasa right there gift sub number 857 in the channel thank you so much for that and, uh, Tonda, enjoy your bovine bribe right there. Enjoy that. Oh, still playing Lunar and enjoying it. That is awesome. And you played some arcade games. Did you find any gems in those? Um, I know I saw Tom playing some Ant Stream the other day. Apparently they added a bunch of cool new stuff. I'm curious if you found anything neat as well. Ooh, 95, uh, silver just hidden in the bushes. So it definitely pays to explore around is what I'm saying here. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying Black Rock. This is fun. This is definitely a fun time so far. Let's see. Harris Corvey, welcome in as well. Put up the stream before going to make breakfast and I recognize the pause screen interface. Nice, nice. Rin, thank you so much for the shout out for Tonda right there. Hey, if anybody in here isn't following Tonda, do you like Wholesome? Do you like retro? Do you like coming to Twitch and enjoying yourself? Because if the answer is no there, I don't know what you're doing here. But if the answer is yes... Make sure to click that link and give Tondo a follow. He's good people. You're going to enjoy hanging out over there. I know I do when I get over there. I haven't been able to recently. I really need to fix that. I miss watching your streams, Tonda. I do. 
All right, so we're heading into the big spooky cave next. I think this probably deserves a hard save. We haven't done one of those in a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and save right there. And then we'll go into the cave, which is apparently full of demons. Seems nasty, but uh, all right. We'll see what we can do. Let's see. Sirloin! God damn it, LTG. God damn it. <laughs> oh, favorite game here is Mantis. Nice, nice. Well, glad to have you here with us then. Stop my mouse for half a potato. I will definitely eat that because I love potatoes. And then I won't have any mouse whatsoever. Forgot how close Jade Empire looked to KOTOR. It really does. Like, uh, the, it, just as far as the graphics, it gives a uh, KOTOR vibe, doesn't it? Which is kind of cool, you know, I'm not going to complain. Oh, that's a, that's a big guy. Wow! Wow! Now look what you've made me do. I've collapsed the way out. When I catch you, woman, you will be sorry. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it, Gao? This is your mess. I didn't make you kidnap me. That squish sound effect. Your friend is doing a good job of frustrating Gao into carelessness. That will work in your favor, but it also means we have to follow them by a different route. Be careful. That means fresh enemies for us. These caves harbor strange creatures. Oh my goodness. In one ear and out the other. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> Alright, so. We've got some ogres over here. I should probably learn how to fight them. Thousand cuts. See what we can do. Well, they don't seem too bad so far. They're big and I assume they can do a ton of damage, but uh, so far, they're not so bad. I went invisible for a second there. I think I might have clipped into him. It's a little strange. I do want to fight every enemy I can just to make sure I'm getting as much XP as I can. Who doesn't want lots of XP? Oh, did dodge! There we go. Got out of the way of that. Flipping is definitely a pro strat in this game. But, there we go. Time to move along. <laughs> yeah, skipping combat can be dangerous because there's no way to grind in this game, as far as I know. I believe there's a finite amount of enemies. So if you just uh, skip out on too many combats, you can leave yourself a little bit underleveled, which I really don't want to do. So we're going to try and get in uh, as many fights as possible. Get in all the fights, get all the XP, find some cool treasures. Whenever possible as well, I want that too. Yonder, one more joke and stake you. Oh, God. Going deep here. <laughs> Let's see. Bly Rick, welcome in. How are you doing there? Going to milk this cow jokes for every bit you can get out of it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. Trap sprung force of aid. Excellent. Excellent. And there's a bunch of silver in that one. I would say that's worth a quick save because we got lucky with the uh, force of aid. That was nice. Uh, where are we headed? So there's this is the path that they went, but it's blocked, so we can't go down there now. So we are going to have to take this uh, center path that I see on the map right here. And see if that leads to the same place. I never place. had cause to enter these caves. Gao will have to pay for this inconvenience. <laughs> inconvenience! Yeah, that's why we're planning on murdering him, because he inconvenienced you. Alright, there's a toad demon over there too. Let's see how this guy fights. Wow, alright, I was, thought I could stun lock him when he was doing his uh, special attack, but no, I definitely didn't. And I'm poisoned now, apparently, too. Just not great. Style gained Toad Demon. Alright. Go ahead and get all my chi back, too, that's awesome. Alright. So let's see, what is what is that style, then? Um, is it not going to say right there? Doesn't actually say what what it is. 
totally hopping mad. Oh my, my god, I love it. Those mushrooms are shiny. It gives me a little bit of an Elder Scrolls vibe, speaking of that. We are going open palm because I go Boy Scout in pretty much every game I ever play. And the Battletoads are in this game. I love Battletoads. I just don't ever actually want to play any games with them. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and quick save here now that we got a new style. That's pretty cool. We'll see if we can check that out later. Uh, what do we got back here? Oh, hello. Some silver. Don't mind if I do. I appreciate how they have the fog on the map so you can kind of see where you've been and where you haven't. That's very helpful. Try going close fist when I just could. You have to be such an asshole to go close fist. It's like, it's the same problem I had with KOTOR 1 and 2 when you go dark side. Is a lot of it is just needlessly mean. It, you're not even accomplishing anything for yourself. You're just being a jerk to be a jerk. I swear, Dawnstar, my patience is running thin. No! No! Not you! Anyone but you! What are you doing here? Uh, you took something very... Uh, uh, let's see, uh... That's he chasing a fool! Do you think you can get away with this? It seems Gao doesn't think much about anything. Oh! <laughs> I understand more than you. I did you a favor, but you are too stupid to know a good thing when you're in its grasp. Being kidnapped was a good thing? You have an odd view of what it takes to impress a woman. Fools! You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Everything you have is gone. My father has seen to that. Wait, what? What are you talking about, Gal? You'll see. Death comes from above to ferret out your hidden master in his real name. Oh, no. Dawnstar was the only thing I wanted to save, and what thanks do I get? Nothing. So be it. I'll just kill you all and forget your pitiful little village ever existed. What, what have you done, Gal? You'll see. You've already lost no matter what happens here. You'll see. I'll make you see. Uh, let's see. You couldn't beat me alone. Now Dawnstar is with me. He has earned my ire as well as yours. I will help if I can. It doesn't matter to me. Master Lee isn't here to restrict how I fight. I'll kill you both in time to see the red sky over your village. Alright, so since I've got Dawnstar back, she's going to be recovering my chi as I fight, so I've got basically unlimited heals, which is very nice. There we go, we got a strong attack on him. Oh, that was a little slow. Let's back off and let's heal a little bit. We're doing good so far, though. Ah, oh, dang it! Got to jump on me there. Oh, he's trying to heal there! Rude. Oh, jeez, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. And I'm on fire! Not cool at all, let's heal up. There we go. I don't know what he's doing, let's get out of there. Oh, he totally whiffed there. That's awesome. He tried to heal again. No. How dare you. Ha! Just caught him in the corner so he couldn't get away. Thank you for coming to my rescue. I'm not sure why Gao thought he would get away with this. He had to know that someone in the village would come for me. Although, I suspected it would be you. I wouldn't let anything happen to you, Dawnstar. I am grateful. Your friendship has always been a comfort to me. Maybe that was what made Gao so jealous. I don't know. And who is this? I must thank your new acquaintance for his help as well. Sagacious Zoo. You don't owe me anything. 
I just helped your young friend through the swamp. Sagacious Sue, well, I am grateful. I don't know what Gao meant by saying he was doing me a favor. How could dragging me here be beneficial? Let's see. Matty O'Shea, thank you for the 50 bits. I appreciate that. His kung fu is weak. His kung fu is pathetic. My kung fu is strong. And that is why I defeated him there. <laughs> Let's see. Harris Corvey had no problem going dark side with KOTOR, oddly enough, but here it just felt like being cruel and insensitive. Like I said, a lot of times when you go dark side, you're not getting anything out of it. You're just being mean to people for the sake of being mean. It's really wild. Yeah, sometimes it's just evil, stupid, Blair. Rick. It's just really bizarre. I don't get it. Let's see. I don't know what he meant, but I think we should head back to the village. Agreed. I want Master Lee to know that we are both safe. It's too bad, though. He wanted to reach Gao. I'm sure of it. Gao just seemed to get more and more bitter. He didn't respond well to discipline. It's too bad. Yeah, Master Lee really wanted to reach him, but instead I reached him with my fists to his face. Uh, let's see, uh, Zoo will head for the entrance. Dawn Steyer and I are clear the rest of the cave. I will wait by Gao's flyer. He can't object now. Truth. Yeah, you can get some money by going dark side in there at least, but, uh... And there was that. And I got a new gem. We do have another gem slot too, so let's go ahead and toss that in there. Uh, gentle persuasion, plus five intimidation, plus one, plus one body, plus one spirit. Ooh, holy crap. That's worth it just for the body and spirit alone. There we go. Uh, so yeah, nine body, nine spirit, eight mind. Not bad. Not bad. And uh, massive intimidation, although I'm probably not going to use that very much. You could not fathom how silly some of the renegade decisions go just for the sake of being evil. Oh yeah, sometimes renegade isn't... Like, a different philosophy so much is just sort of being very cranky. <laughs> this is 100% true. All right. So, Return to Two Rivers is the next thing there. Let's go ahead and quick save after the fight. Supersize your intimidation. I can intimidate the heck out of some dudes now. I don't know if I'm going to need to, but I can. Should have come down to that. Go ahead and get my chi back. Let's see what's over here. A Viper's Wit. Ooh, new technique. Let's see what that is. Um, Viper's Wit. Plus two focus, plus one charm. Hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. That's trap. That one I did not escape, unfortunately. Took some damage there. Dang it. Uh, I'll go ahead and get my focus back here. Not that I use it very much. And Eye of the Viper. The player has found one of the three scrolls for the Viper style. The scroll is part of a powerful gem that previously contained both the Iron Palm and Viper style, which split as these two styles can never function in harmony. One of the three meditation doctrines required to withstand the physiological demands of training uh, the Viper style. The aspirant must possess and study all three before he or she can safely attempt to learn this unforgiving art. Viper corrupts the user's chi to achieve a toxic effect in an opponent, but if applied incorrectly, it is more dangerous to the attacker. The aspirant must train to see nerve clusters, not impact points. Hardened muscle can resist and reflect poisoned energy, leaving the untrained with an imbalance that can be fatal. Sounds super dangerous. But we got it, at least. Let's see what we can do with it. Go ahead and get my health back since we got this right over here. Did Dark Cloud not teach you anything? Clearly not. Or not enough, at least. <laughs> Going light side Sith and KOTOR was hilarious. His superiors are... <laughs> it seems hilarious. It seems like uh, if you went... Uh, if you went, like, light side Sith, uh, it would just be a comedy, basically. <laughs> with your superiors always why did you do that what is wrong with you i mean i did if you remember i did kind of accidentally ally with the sith for a while in uh old republic the mmo and if you remember what basically happened was i i realized i didn't want to but i didn't have a way to back out immediately so i just went completely ineffective sith 
So anytime the guy, the game said, hey, you can do an evil thing here, I just didn't. And so they kept messaging me, being like, hey, buddy, uh, I really appreciate you working for the side of evil here, but uh, you're not actually doing anything. Um, and it kind of makes it feel like you're like not Sith. Because you keep doing good guy things, then you don't do bad guy things. And I'm just... I'm, I'm just having some questions here about your, your technique. I'm just not feeling really great about how this is going overall. <laughs> what happened to Gao's men? I thought they abandoned him, but it looks like you had to fight them all. Yeah. I didn't realize you took that much of a risk getting to me. Thank you. Yes, Blyrick, hanging up on the council in Mass Effect was like my favorite thing. I laughed so hard there. <laughs> not like Sith. Um, look, they chose their path. I just happened to cross it. I guess so. I heard Gao ordering them to kill anyone who approached. It's too bad so many people had to suffer for this. His mercenaries didn't seem too eager to follow me into the cave, though. It seemed like they were humoring him. Maybe they were his father's men. I don't... Wait. Do you hear something? What the hell? Um. There are so many. Where are they coming from? You should be more concerned with where they are going. You may have won a victory over Gal the Lesser, but it looks like he put things in motion that have outlived him. What? What do you mean? These machines have weapons. They drop casks that explode on impact. There will be soldiers on the ground as well. Was... was that what Gal meant? He said something about death coming from above for Master Lee. So, wait, he kidnapped you so you wouldn't get caught in an attack? It doesn't matter. We have to get back. The students, everyone will need our help. Walk away, Dawnstar. You won't get there in time. Better to avert your eyes than see something you care about fall to ruin. Save yourself the pain. Oh, we have to try. There has to be a way. This machine of Gao's, do you know how to make it work? Could you fly it? I doubt there are two people in the Empire that know how they work. It's a baffling combination of magic and artifice. Um, I, I just need to know if we can control it safely. We may be able to do it among the three of us. I was told that they are simple to control. So you don't really know? If you actually cared about the safety of this machine, you wouldn't be about to fly it into a swarm of enemies. What guarantee do you want? There is a handle attached to something like the reins of an ox yoke. You move it left and right, forward and back. It should swim through the air fairly smoothly. Alright, I guess we can do that. Uh, let's see. Fluffy's my favorite was where the council is like, did you just call us again just to hang up? And Shepard's like, yep. Hangs up right there. Doesn't say anything else. Hey, it's Shenanan. Welcome in. How are you doing today? How's everything going for you? Let's see. A Ghost of Tsushima Astrobot to Astro's player. Oh, that is adorable. That's super cute. Beanie, happy Friday to you as well. How are you doing today, Beanie? How's your weekend looking? Uh, fine. I guess we'll just hope for the best. Will you come to help us, Zoo? You seem to have a good heart. If you are intent on returning, I will accompany you. I have already done more than I wanted, but I could not avoid this forever. You are an interesting person, Sagacious Zoo. Your eyes hold a great sadness that is oddly familiar to me, but I don't know why. Oh, sorry to hear that, Shannon, and hopefully everything goes smoothly at least. So far, I'm enjoying Jade Empire. Hope you have a good day uh, at work, uh, Beanie. Hopefully your weekend's good. Uh, let's see. I tried to understand his trouble, but he won't let me. Perhaps I am imagining it. We will discuss it another time. I hope we are not too late. Well, let's see if we can make a flying machine work. Let's 
seems easy enough. Looks a little terrifying though. Wait, what? Press mouse one to fire your primary weapon. What? Wait, what? You have to hurry. Am I? Wait, is this is this seriously happening? Is is this actually happening? I, I think so. We we smoke no. Fires can drop explosives. This is worse than I thought. Oh yeah, we had a weapon power up, so now we're just dual shot. All right. So I gotta avoid those aerial explosions, but otherwise I think we're good. The town. Was not expecting a shmup in here, but here we are. This is what we're doing now. I think we're good. Still flies better than the Mako. It's a, it's a low bar to clear. We Gradius now, boys! <laughs> this is happening! Oh god, Sephiro, those emotes. Oh! Uh, things are looking bad down here. Rough landing, but we survived. No! This can't be! It is what I expected. I'm sorry you had to see this. I saw the smoke from the air, but I didn't think... didn't think it would be so bad. Everyone... everyone is gone. Uh, we'll find survivors. There has to be someone left. I hope you are right. Master Lee wouldn't let this happen. Not without a fight. Do what you can together. We will meet in the heart of your school. Let's see. Hey, Diver! Welcome in. I'm liking it so far. I've played about halfway through this before, uh, but I'm enjoying it so far, most definitely. How are you doing today, Diver? Hope everything's going good with you. You expected the town to be on fire? I mean, we saw a bunch of flyers that were going to bomb it, so I, I think that's why you expected it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make a hard save here, I think. Seems like a good place for it. There we go, and anything behind me? Mostly just fire. But I had to show, there's some bones over here. And bones usually mean money, right? Usually? Money? Bones? Just bones this time. Nothing to actually interact with, despite the fact it's got an interaction point, which is a little weird. Okay, let's get into town then. Playing vanilla or with mods? This is just uh, completely vanilla. It's the special edition on Steam, but otherwise vanilla. I would love a Jade Empire 2, though. That would be cool. Every once in a while, Bioware mentions it. I don't know if it'll no. ever get off the ground, though. It's all gone. Why did Gao's father do this? Why are his men here? Just in time for Shang-Chi. Oh, God. Oh, I see some bad guys up there. I hate this. There's no challenge in killing simple peasants. They said no survivors, so there better be no survivors. I know, I know, but who is this for? Whoever's really giving the orders must be influential. Do you want to ask Al the Greater? No. So quit yapping and make sure there's no survivors. Looks like we have a few more peasants to put down. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's just make it quick. I think this is gonna go badly for you, honestly. Oh wow, yeah, actually it went really badly for him. Wow, those guys were chumps! Holy crap, we put them down hard. I'll take it. Short Jade Empire VR minigame, that'd be cool. What kind of a game are you thinking? 
What about that weapon that you have in you? I do still have the weapon. I mean, technically I've got five styles right now and I've just used the one, really. The school, burning. Every spring. Oops, I had to skip past that. I didn't mean to do that. I intend to skip that, but uh, I was trying to investigate the skill and didn't realize that would skip her dialogue. Um, everything is on fire, though, which is not great. We got through the swamp level! We're actually done with the swamp level already, so that's kind of nice. I appreciate that. D dodge! Oh, dang it. Couldn't quite dodge that one. But usually you can interrupt uh, those strong attacks when they go for them. I think it's usually worth it to get the interrupt. There we go. Alright, get the heals there. Where are we going next? We got a couple paths we can explore. Let me quick save here, too. And what do we got down here? Mostly fire. Some more bandits, too. There we go. That guy's toast. You are too slow. Guys, they're also very feeble. Holy crap. Or I'm just uh, reasonably powerful at this point in the game. So those guys are going down very easily. Student remains. Well, I guess he's not going to need that money. Waste not, want not, I suppose. Alright, nothing else over here, then. Let us head back the other way, then. Check this way. That way is blocked off. So I guess we're heading towards the school, which is a smart idea. Oh, let's see. I see some bad guys straight up ahead. Looks like that's where we're going. What is this? We missed a couple of these pitiful students? This is like crushing ants. There's no end to you people. Ants! That's all their lives were to you? Let's see, why have you done this? Huh. The same question all the others asked. You'll get the same answer, too. Men! Gal the Greater wants this village cleared! Get the job done! All right, lots of dudes here. These guys don't look terribly tough, though. There we go, got him. Knock this guy right the heck out. There we go. Dodge. I right, got her. Let's heal up a little bit. Right, got him halfway down. Nice, nice. Oh, I gotta level up, too. Excellent. Whew! Alright, that went well. Or that is going well, I should say. Excellent. Heal up a little bit. Interrupt her charge attack. Get her with a charge attack of my own. Good deal. Whew! Oh, jeez! Alright. Now we gotta face the boss man himself. That's a lot of dudes. Holy crap. I remember I had a lot of trouble with this fight the first time I fought it, but I feel like I'm doing better overall in this game than I did the first time I played. Oh, jeez. All right. Got a little trouble right there. Dodge! Get out of there. Get some heals. Um, hang on. I need to find out how to switch targets, because that I still haven't figured out how to do yet. Let's see. Dive where you do a short mission base with motion controls. Bullet time pre-planning and moves. Ooh, all right. Oh, dude, that sounds cool as hell, Diver. Seriously, that sounds amazing. All right, so how do I switch targets? That seems important. Control, keyboard. Uh, tab. I can use tab. Tab and Q to switch targets, basically. All right. Let's do that, because I want to take out the minion before I take out the big boss guy. I figure he'll be much easier to take down. And yeah, he's not bad. We'll have him taken down in short order anyway. Nice, alright. Now we just gotta worry about the boss. Woo! Get out of 
there. Oh, wow, that wave. Um, can I hit him with fireball? No, that's my staff. I can hit him with some fire, yeah. Ow. He's knocking me down. Woo! That's the fire's strong attack right there. Takes a long time to charge and takes a lot of chi, but. Ooh, that does some damage. I think I'll probably want to put some points into this skill. Because that's amazing, holy shit. There were so many. Everywhere. And fire from the skies. Shh. We've chased off all of Gao's men. He'll be safe now. No, they came later. What? First there were fighters in black. With this, you could hardly see. She told them where to attack and they turned like... Like one mind. One purpose. Except... Except for the one. He stood alone. His armor so black. Black like a hole in the earth. So deep, you, you can't... Can't get out. You'll be all right. Just be still. I tried. I tried so hard. I'm sorry. Wu said... He said there was no warning. Just calm skies and then fire from above. He organized the students, but they were overrun. Master Lee was taken when it began. He went without a fight, giving them what they wanted. But afterwards, the students... They were killed anyway. The Lotus Assassins. They leave no one alive to tell the tale. People fear the unknown. For Gao the Greater to have them as allies is troubling. The figure your friend spoke of is Death's Hand, the leader of the Lotus Assassins. This... student was strong to live as long as he did. Let's see, Mr. Whistler, welcome in. Yes, uh, so far we don't, we haven't fully unlocked the premise, but basically we're a kung fu dude and we have a big special destiny and now people have burned down our village. So we're probably gonna have to get some revenge. Inabito, welcome in. This is, I've played it before, but I've never finished it. I'm playing the PC version, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. And hey, Lost. Lost, thank you so much for the 28-month resub. I appreciate all the support. It's a pleasure to have you here. Do you know Kung Fu yet? I know Kung Fu. <laughs> How are you doing here? Hope you're doing well. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Why would they come here? Where did they take Master Lee? The Lotus Assassins answered a death's hand alone. He would not appear unless this was important. He usually acts behind the scenes. I don't know why they were so intent on taking your Master Lee, but they never attack without purpose. Let's see, uh... The Master Lee told me he was the Emperor's brother and Gao overheard. That's not possible. Sun Lee, the glorious strategist, was the Emperor's brother and the head of the Imperial Army. Your Master Lee cannot be him. Why not? Because he can't. Sun Li was declared a traitor to the Empire 20 years ago. The Emperor himself accused him of killing the third brother, Prince Qin. And besides, the glorious strategist would not have made such mistakes. What mistakes? Revealing himself for one. For another, he would have known that giving himself up would not save your students. That's the Emperor, thank you so much for the gift sub cosplay diver right there. Gift sub number 858. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for that. Kung Fu bribe. Critical hit. Um. Let's see. If Death's Hand is as vicious as you say, yeah, to try something. The glorious strategist would know his enemy. And if anything is true about Lotus assassins, it's that they don't leave survivors. I should know. I... I was one. Gasp!
Let's see. That explains your unwillingness to come here. You recognized a familiar tactic. It doesn't matter. No, he is right to question me. I'm accustomed to such suspicion. It doesn't matter. Whoever you are, whatever you were, you did not do this, and you do not have our master. We need... we need to decide what to do. When we know where we are going, when we have a plan, then we can talk about who knows what. That's fair. Um... Let's see. We, we must find out where they took Master Lee and rescue him. I doubt I could change your resolve, even if I wanted to. Perhaps I can at least try to point you in a productive direction. If you wish to pursue this, we should head to the heart of the Empire, the Imperial City. Uh, why? What's there? Gal the Greater was behind this attack, but I suspect there is someone else behind him. You will find your answers in the Imperial City. You know a lot. We will have to talk about the source of that knowledge. Yes, I am still curious about you, Lotus Assassin. Make whatever judgment you wish. I assure you, I have already made worse. Let's go. I don't... I don't want to be here. I want to go where I can actually make a difference. That is a very common desire. The hardest to achieve, but very common. Come, let's see if we can get Gao the Lesser's contraption in the air again. It won't be stable enough to get to the Imperial City, but we might reach the trading village of Tien's Landing. All trade routes lead to the heart of the Empire. If we are lucky, we can find someone to give us passage. If we're lucky. Sounds good to me. And I lost the figurines, because I assume that side quest isn't going to come up again. Let's see, your route is plagued with enemy ships. What do you want to do? Uh, attack? Let's try attacking. Should be fun. Observed. And we are going to be doing some more bullet hell stuff. Let's do that then. I want that weapon upgrade. I want that weapon upgrade. There we go. A little bit of health back. That is not much health back, but I'll take it. Oh, these guys are persistent. These guys look like trouble, too. If I can take that guy down. Oh, there's so many of them! Alright, we got most of them there. That's good. Whew, took him down pretty fast. Oh, jeez, these guys are fast. There we go. Got most of them. Make sure to take those guys out before they get too close. I think that's the trick there. You know, get them while they're nice and far away, and they can't really do much about it. Mission complete! Alright, that went well. That went well. Yeah, well, I think it was 1941. I, I do remember, they had one of those arcade machines at the movie theater when I was a kid. I loved that one. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> nice Y-Wing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... That doesn't sound good. Is that supposed to be... Oh, God. Crap. 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 That was quite the crash. I wouldn't have left the marsh had I known we were headed for such a spectacular landing. It's a miracle we all survived unharmed. Uh, we did all survive, didn't we? 
Uh, I'm fine. Dawnstar, are you okay? I'm okay too. A, a little shaken up is all. We were lucky. Only a fool braves the air currents without a proper wind map. You can't navigate the skies without them. Not safely, anyway. Well, I guess we're grounded till we find a wind map, then. So where are we going to find a wind map of this region? We can't follow Master Lee's captors without one. Things are even worse than that. Look at our flyer. Even if we had a wind map, this thing wouldn't take to the air again. Let's see, Matty O'Shea, thank you for the 50 bits. I appreciate that. Capcom presents 1941 Jade Empire. I'd play it. I would pay good money for that. Welcome back, Rin. How was lunch? What did you end up having there? The blackened bacon and shrimp over cheesy polenta. Oh, God, that sounds really good. I can see why you'd be very full. That sounds amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's catch up right here. Yeah, any landing you can walk away from. I don't want, want, know why the guy's complaining when he doesn't appear to even have any bruises on him. Seriously. Uh, so we just need to find a wind map and a new flyer. Is that all? <laughs> You make it sound so simple. Flyers and wind maps are rare things, even in the Imperial City. Out here, they're all but unknown. Gao and his pirates used flyers to attack two rivers, and the Lotus assassins who took Master Lee had them too. Somebody around here must know something about them. Eh, I don't plan on being stuck here for long. I'll figure something out. I'm... I'm sorry to get upset, but every second we're stuck here, Master Lee gets farther away from us. We're near Tien's Landing. It's a small village, but maybe someone there knows where we can find a new flyer. If nothing else, I remember a clearing suitable for a camp. And if we can't find a flyer, we can always follow on foot. To the south of the village is a forest. A trade route leads through it to the Imperial City. The village is across the bridge and beyond a large marker stone. Look for the giant rock with a painting of a fish on it, and you'll know you're heading in the right direction. Uh, Alright, let's get moving. Dawnstar, come with me. Very well. I'll wait here for now. It's not so different from the marsh, actually. More of an impending sense of doom. But that could just be your influence. Sorry. We should get going. There has to be a better place for us to rest than this. Let's go. All right. Chapter 2, wherein the fall of Dirge is detailed. The woman in black speaks of death's hand, and Gao the Greater learns the fate of his son. Two rivers is in ruins, and Master Li has been taken captive. It is clear that this attack was carefully orchestrated, and the shadowy forces have taken an interest in you and those around you. Leaving your home of twenty years, you set out after Death's Hand and his Lotus assassins, intent on discovering the reasons behind this assault. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and take care of that level that we got. Go ahead and assign some points. So I'm going to put uh, two points in spirit and one in body. There we go. And I got six style points. Probably going to put most of those into Thousand Cuts. Or all of them, because we want to get that speed increase. There we go. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright, let's go ahead and make a hard save here as well. Alright. Alright. And ladies and gentlemen, since we just finished chapter one, this seems like an excellent place to stop for the night. Uh, so I hope everyone's enjoying this game so far. I am. This is cool. I'm interested to see where all this is going. And uh, I feel like I'm handling the combat a lot better than I was the last time I played this, so I'm very happy about that. Must be doing something right. Uh, so thank all of you for hanging around that time again, John, it is. Uh, but we'll be back tomorrow, same time, and we'll be doing some more of this game as well, so I hope I will see you there for that. And thank you, of course, for hanging out today. Now, of course, before we call it quits today, uh, we do have one other thing to do. So don't go anywhere just yet, because we gotta see who all else is online so we can find somebody else to hang out with if you are not done with Twitch stuff for the day. So... Uh, make sure to hit follow if you haven't already, of course, because that'll be the quickest way to be able to find me tomorrow. And while I'm checking to see who all is live at the moment, there are some links in chat you might want to check out if you haven't seen them yet. We have a link to my Twitter if you want to see what I'm up to outside of the stream. 
We have a link to my uh, YouTube if you want to see any of the games I've played in the past or if you want to uh, uh, keep caught up with our current playthrough. And we've got a link to my Discord if you'd like to chat with the rest of the community. As always, everyone is invited to that, so feel free to jump in on that. And I see a streamer we haven't got to raid in quite some time playing a very cool game that if you haven't seen before, you definitely should. Uh, so, folks, I would love it if you would join me as we go raid none other than MRR Knight. He is a retro streamer that plays some really challenging stuff and he plays it all blind. And seriously, this guy has more determination than I could ever hope to have. Really cool. Uh, and today he is playing Soul Blazer. Very cool little game that was very much underappreciated in the States. And Emperor, thank you so much for the sub to Nightbot. Is that a tier three sub to Nightbot? Oh God, he doesn't, he definitely doesn't even uh, thank you for that, but I will. Thank you so much for that, Emperor. That is amazing. Uh, so, folks, why don't you join me over at MR Night's stream? Say hi, hang out for a bit, throw him a follow if you like what he's doing. But hey, if you've got other things to do, I will just say as I always do. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, or wherever you're at in the world. And I will see you folks tomorrow for some more Jade Empire. Take care of yourselves till then, everybody.